His girlfriend's five-year-old daughter is indicted for first-degree murder. Follows the death of Zakiria Robinson in October. But investigators believe the abuse started in August. 26-year-old Jonte Harris is accused of beating the girl. He told police that he lost his temper because the girl was, quote, being disrespectful. The man accused of beating and killing five-year-old Zykeria Robinson is officially charged with first-degree murder. Harris is a boyfriend of Zykeria's mother, Michelle Canamore, who is charged with second-degree murder. Zykeria died in October after Canamore told police Harris repeatedly struck her in the face until she lost consciousness. Canamore left her daughter on the couch unconscious for nearly five hours before taking her to the hospital where she died. Mr. Harris, thank you, about <clears throat> I'm Detective Russell, Detective Devereaux. I appreciate you being down here. I've been down here a long time. Um, dealing with this issue, but we wanted to uh, want to come in and talk to you. Yes, sir. Get some information from you. I'm going to grab some of this basic stuff real quick before we start talking. Just like your name and all that. What's your first name? J O N T E. Jonte. Yes, sir. What's your middle name? Dominique. Harris. Dominique, D O M I N I Q U E. You said Harris? It's last name. All right. And what's your date of birth? 05 19 1992. 5 1992. Uh, what's a good phone number for you? Uh, you'll have to ask my girlfriend. I just have got phone She's got a new number? I got it. Is it the same number? Do y'all share a phone? No. This is y'all got separate lines? Where do you live? Uh, all right. Uh, just real quick, who all lives in the house? How long have you lived there? I just moved in the summertime. Summertime? Was it early summer, like July or early August? summer? Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, anytime I, we speak to anybody downtown, we've got to complete uh, uh, these constitutional rights, okay? It's just okay. part of our policy. It's just a important part of the process. Um, the place, I'm going to put PMB. That's just the Police Memorial Building. Okay. Uh, it's just the abbreviation. Today is 1018. 2018 and the time is uh, 11:34 a.m. Okay. Um, have you had any drugs or alcohol today? No. Um, do you have any type of uh, mental condition that would keep you from understanding what we're talking about? No. Okay. Uh, can you read? Yes. And you can you write as well? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I know some of those questions are weird. Uh, can you read that first line for me? You have the following rights under the United States Constitution. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest. Um, you do not have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand that? Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you. And you have the right to have an attorney with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to you before any questioning begins, if you wish. Um, if you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult a, a lawyer. Do you understand that? Okay. All right. <clears throat> what I need you to do is just read over those and examine if you want, and then just sign at the bottom for me. Um, okay, so so we're basically we brought y'all here because we're trying to get a better understanding of what happened uh, at the house. Okay. Can you, let's just start from the, do you work anywhere? No, I go to Tulsa Williams. You go to, okay, Coastal, okay. Um, what time did you, did you go to school yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, so were you home all day? Yes. Okay. And then say about five o'clock um, p.m. Where, who all, who all was at the house? We all be home. Everybody was there. Okay. So, <clears throat> at what point did y'all go to bed? Uh, usually, well, some days Michelle work. I usually go to bed right after she goes to work. She usually goes to work around nine. Okay. And I go to bed around eleven. Okay. Okay. So, did she go to work last night? Yes. Okay. And she got up early. She came home early. Okay, what, to, what time does she go to school? About, or I mean, not school, but work. work. She goes to work. She catches uh, 16 around 9.40, I want to 
let's see. Okay, it's not important. Okay. And so she goes to work. What time does she come back home? It varies between like four. What well, last night? What time did she okay. come back home? Okay. Uh, yeah. Three. Okay, she, she came home early, early. Okay, she came home about three o'clock. And why did she come home early, did she say? No. Okay, she just came home. Yes. Okay. So she got home at three. Um, where were you at at that time? Were you sleeping? Um, no, I was in the living room watching TV. Okay. Um, so you in the living room watching TV. Where Where were the girls? I was in her room in the front with me. Okay. Um, was she watching TV with you? No, she was laying down. She was sleeping? Okay. What time? What, about what time did she go to sleep? I can't tell you. Okay. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't pay attention, like, not to her sleeping. So <clears throat> when she when she's in there, she's on the couch, I guess? Yes. So she's on the couch, and she'll watch TV with you until she falls asleep? Yes. Okay, so you're not sure what time she actually fell asleep because she was watching TV and all that. And then the other daughter was in the, or the other uh, little girl was in the back in her bedroom. Is that is that normal? Is that normally the way that no. they're? No. Okay. It, it's sometimes uh, when school, She'll stay up. Okay. School. So okay. she just be up whenever she falls asleep. She just falls, she falls asleep. asleep. Okay. And she so she'll um, she'll sleep on the couch sometimes, but she'll also sleep in her room sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Michelle got home. Then what happened? Um, Michelle got home. Everything was still normal. It was chilling. You know. Um, the I was already still in the living room. Michelle went and told her. That's when she got the medicine and all that, and then Michelle told her to go to the bathroom. What what medicine are you talking about? I don't know the name of it, Okay. but uh, one of the officers went to the house and it's in an orange bottle. One of the bottles, her bottle's gone, but not the same exact bottle. Okay. They both got prescribed the same thing. Okay. Um, after that, after she gave her the medicine, she took her to the, she took her to the bathroom. On the couch? She peed on the couch. Okay. And she took her to the bathroom. Once all that was done, she was taking a bath. They normally do that. I don't, I don't. So after, every time after she, she pees herself or pees the bed or the couch. Yeah, that, get that. And they go take a break. That avoids from us whooping, whooping them. So yeah, no, like don't do it. But you also need to be clean because like, they piss to be strong. Right. So. Okay. So they're, so they're in the bathroom. Both mm -hmm. of them are in the bathroom. No, 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 just her. This was around the same time Michelle got off of work. Okay, so Michelle comes home, finds out that she had peed on the couch, the couch mm -hmm. gets her up, takes her into the bathroom. Then what happened? That's where I got lost. I'm sorry. Okay, when she took her in the bathroom, she was already in the tub. She ran the, uh, the water was running in there. She was washing. Okay. Now, when we was in the living room, she came back. Michelle didn't eat dinner. When we came back, she said she heard. A, I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. Me, I wasn't. It's not like I wasn't paying attention. It was like, I'm paying attention, but who would, you know what I'm saying? But Something not, that's yeah. normal. Right. You know what I mean? So when she heard that, we both rushed there and we seen her. The way she fell, she fell up. She must be fell up under the water because her whole face was like this. Okay. So when we grabbed her, I seen suds come out of her mouth. I already know how things are. So I told Shell, call the ambulance. So when we both got on the phone, they told us how to do the... Uh, the CP, CPR, the CPR thing. Okay. So when she's in the when she's in the bath, Michelle comes out because she didn't eat dinner. She was gonna get some food or something. Yes. Okay. And that's when she heard the thud or the the noise, and she told you, "Hey, did you hear that? Something's wrong." And then y'all went into the bathroom. Uh, yes. And you saw her. She was so she was laying in the bathtub facing right. the water. Um, okay. The, spigot thing. I the tub, that. and you have the faucet like this. Uh huh. She's laying like this. Like face down with the water coming down her, onto her shoulder or onto her face? Her, face, her head. Her face. Okay. Like, this is the faucet. This is towards the bathroom door. Okay. And her arm like this. And she's like this. Okay. So we grabbed her out the tub. And when we flipped her over, you can see suds coming out her nose okay. and out her mouth. So she had water all up in her? Yes. Okay. How long do you think from when you heard the the thud did you guys make it into that room? Well, I say 15 minutes because Michelle had just came home around. 15 minutes between when you heard the Before noise? she came home and when she did that. Okay. But what about when you... you oh, how long, it, how long it took us to get to her when we heard the noise? Yeah. Oh, ASAP. Yeah, it was a couple seconds. Yeah. Almost. Okay. 
Um, all right, so you guys pull her out. You call 911. Um, they tell you how to do CPR. Uh, are both y'all doing CPR? Yes. Okay. Uh, she started first, and then I think the person on the phone told her to go unlock the door. So I started, and she was like, count, count with me, count with me, count with me. Then Michelle came back and did it. She was doing it, then I blew on her nose, and then we switched because she was opening up the door, mm -hmm. and that's when a pair of masks came. Okay. Okay. Um, so when y'all pulled her out of the the bathtub, she didn't have any clothes on or anything like that <clears> because <throat> she was in the shower and all that. And was she standing up? Was she taking a shower or was she taking a bath? A bath. Okay. Do you know how much water was in the in the bath there? Okay. So she would... It shouldn't have been a lot, but the tubs usually stop up, so okay. I, don't, I can't really call because okay. I didn't, not realistically, I didn't see it. You didn't see it, you weren't paying attention to that part. Okay. Um, so just just so I understand, again, I want to make sure I understand it really well. Michelle came home from work about 3 o'clock. She comes in, realizes that, uh, she peed, that she peed the couch there, tells her, get on up, go in there, we're going to clean up. So they both go into the bathroom together. Um, get her in the bathtub, and then Michelle comes back out um, to get dinner or what have you, and then here's a, a thud or a boom, and y'all go immediately running back in there and see that she is uh, face down, kind of up yeah. against the wall of the bathtub, and the water's coming down and hitting her face, nose, mouth, all that area. Yes, um, y'all reach, grab her out, pull her out, and she's she's not responsive, right? Is she responding at that time? I is mean, she, Is she breathing? It was. It was like a slow breath. Cause I had put my ear to her mouth, and then I had put my ear to her heart, and I I thought I was hearing a heartbeat. Okay. So and then I heard, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a, but when I start seeing the suds come out her nose, I was thinking like logically, like, oh, that's probably like the same thing as blood. So call the ambulance. I don't, okay. I don't know. What to do. Okay. Okay. Um. So y'all try CPR, then the EMTs get there and they they scoop her up and take her away. Yeah, they grab her quick. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Do you have any questions about the initial? Um, no, I was going to ask a little, couple of follow-up questions. Did the kids go to school? Down the street from the house, but then she stopped going there. So she stopped going there? Well, her mom told me she had uh, the social problem, because like, if we say school, she's she's not talking. Mm -hmm. She never was social. When I first started dating Michelle, she never was social. Mm -hmm. The whole time, I never, it never was, like, throughout the day, I say rarely she'll say on her own about 15 words. But if we talking to her, she'll say whatever we say when we repeat it. Okay. That's it. Okay. So That's she fine. she didn't, do you think she understood what you were saying? I don't know. Uh, her father, her, her biological father, mm -hmm. from what I hear from all their family, he has a condition. So I don't, I don't know if that affects him, I mean her. But what, what was his? What's his condition? What I, you would have to ask uh, Michelle or okay. her family members. They, um, something happened where either he had got shot in the face, but it's something wrong with his brain. I guess. Okay. That's the only thing I can assume. Okay. Okay. Did um, so I didn't. I don't think I missed the answer. Maybe we got off topic real quick. Um, she stopped going there when? Around August or September. So she stopped going a couple one or two months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and do you know why she stopped going? For the social. Because she wasn't. Her mom took her out because it was a social thing. She didn't want to, She it was just daycare anyways. It wasn't like she was a uh, kindergartner or something doing like some grades that can surpass her. It was more of, we're going to put her in school so we can have something during the day. I go to school in the mornings. So by me going to school in the mornings, her being home and she works nights, okay. So she said, instead of spending the money, you decided to keep her in no, the house? No, mornings, right. mornings. Like, if she works at night, I go to school in the morning. She wants to be home, sleep, get yeah. her rest, and she wants to take her daughter, go to daycare. You know, then she took her out and just had her wear. So she just watched her herself instead of taking her to daycare. Mm -hmm. Not a, <clears throat> Nothing happened to the daycare that made her mad at them or unhappy with them. It's just, no. she just decided to keep her home for just nothing. family. They reasons. always speak and they always happy. They always <clears throat> joyful. There's nothing going okay. on. Okay. What, um, with with the kids themselves, the two girls, do they get along pretty well? Yes. Okay. Um, are they? I mean, I know siblings argue and fight and all that. Do they? Do they no, fight a lot? They don't fight much at all. They huh? don't fight at all. Okay. So there's they're not tussling or wrestling or. You have you have siblings? Yeah. You have brother sister? You have a brother? Yeah. You guys fight? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I did too. So and that's why I asked that because me and even me and my sister, we wouldn't tussle as much, but we would we'd fight a lot. Her girls, no, nah, I can honestly say, no, nah, they never they don't fight at all. They never fought. It's not yeah. like even when I first came around, I'd be joking like, "Oh yeah, come on, y'all, let's go play fight." No, not a bit, huh? Okay. No, nah, it's not. It's not, it's not on that. Nah. Okay. Um, and you said you said that she's a little bit. Uh, um, socially awkward. Does she go outside and play with her kids in the neighborhood in the apartment complex? Uh, or? No, Michelle's not really trustworthy of the neighborhood. Okay. Um, I have kids. When they come over, then they socialize together. Okay. Is she pretty social with other, with your kids? Yes. Okay. So she'll play with them? She'll with play them. with kids. It's like, it's, it's, she picks and chooses who she wants to talk to. Okay. Um, when she's around kids, it, you have to warm her up into it. The last time I seen her actually active was at my mom's house and we did was all playing kickball. Okay. So she was very active. I was looking at Shell, I was like, look at this. I never heard her count. And then she just started counting. Out of nowhere. And I was okay. like, whoa, because she's not crazy. Yeah. I figured that. Yeah. It was just she had a social problem. I thought I was like, okay, since she's not talking, maybe she's just gonna grow out of it. I thought she was just shy. Right. So, but she plays with her. Does she play with her sister and talk to her sister and yeah. all that, and they get along well? Yes. Okay. Um, so, have you ever seen the two fight? No. Never physically seen them fight. Okay. Never. <clears throat> and then um, the. Do y'all go outside as a, as a little family group? Go yes. outside and. Michelle said something about that y'all that y'all run, that y'all yeah, exercise, exercise and what have you. Does she take part in the exercise? Does she yes, en the enjoy last, the running and the stuff? Lat, no, she doesn't she enjoy, enjoy it. I don't enjoy running either. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Some days she enjoy it when, like I said, when we playing, like, oh, come on, chase her. Whoever beat me to the house, he'll give you some chips, yeah. and then she'll do that. But if we just on some exercising, if it was just me and Michelle, and then Michelle would be like, oh, no, get the girls because they can't stay in the house. And when we were running, the last time she ran, it was like the worst. Okay. Is she she just didn't want to run? No. Was she what what did she do? How did she react to um, to that? She was running. First, usually she runs fast like this, but I figured something was going on cuz she was uh, 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 and I was like, "Come on, on. Come on, come on." And then all of a sudden she picked her up. She started running again. She started running again then she slid. Right. That's how she got her bruises and then okay. The last run, that same day we was coming from the store, going around the block, there's a, I forgot how the doctor said it, uh, but it's something in the road on Lake Shore. The sidewalk goes like this, and then it goes in, and then it comes back up, and they have like a cone right here. Okay. And the parts of it that come out, when she was running, she must be tripped, because we all, well, I didn't trip, but we all tripped her, Michelle, and they fell. And we picked her up. Then I seen bruises like this on her, on her arms. So I was like, come on, come on, come on. This was, I want to say last week, I want to say Friday or Thursday. Okay, Thursday or Friday or last week. And we were more on some, well, I was scared. Shell was scared, of course. And I was like, well, maybe we should call the doctor. She was like, she seems fine. It was just bruises. So she went to go to 7-Eleven and just buy the little creams and stuff mm -hmm. to put on her to calm the bruises. And when you say bruises, were they like black and blue or were they like scrapes? Like it was you they, in your knee or whatever. They, these were scrapes, but when she hit her face, her face, this part. She got bruises up here. Yeah. What about on her eyes? Anything? Right here. Yeah. She have anything like you? I, no, I didn't see that. Nothing there. Just it was on the side right mm -hmm. there. Okay. Okay. And that you said was last Thursday or Friday when y'all was running? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, any? To your knowledge, has she has she has she hurt herself any other times? I mean. Broken any bones, twisted any ankles? I don't know ankles. if she broke any bones, but she usually, like, she'll do little stuff to hurt herself, like biting, biting her tongue. I used to hear her do the, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, okay. that's what it sounds like. You said but she would bite her tongue? Yeah. Okay, like to make her tongue bleed or just bite it? Not to make it bleed. I never bite seen it. just like this. Okay, like, like just the tip like, of it in her teeth. Like how girls like this stick their tongue out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but she uh, she doesn't do it all the way. Okay. It's like a little bit, and then she's like this, and then she goes. <laughs> okay. It was a habit. Okay. Is she, is she 
a daycare ever bite other kids or anything like that? Or she just like biting her tongue? I, I, I never know. You'll never know? Okay. Never but know. she doesn't bite her sister or no. try to bite y'all or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. She ever bite herself? Not that I know of. Okay. Okay. Usually they share rooms or home room. They have two separate rooms, but then lately keep around each other in the same room or a couch or a switch. Okay. Um, back to when she's running, you said she was falling. Was she falling like a fake fall? I mean, kind of like diving, like, I don't want to run no more. And she would fall down, or was she like I exhausted say that. to a point? Yeah, I mean, she was exhausted, of course, when we were run distance. It wasn't like around, we were going straight shots. Like, yeah. Going straight, and it's like in between. It seemed, it looked it fake, but it also looked it real, in a sense. Because it's like, you... Uh, and you're you're crying, you're whining is real. Yeah, yeah. And you're exhausted, and how you falling, you may be falling fake, but by the time you get down, it's, it's real. real. Okay, okay. Was she hitting her head, or was she hitting her arms, or? Like I said, when she fell on that one, that little thing that's like that, that's what I saw. I okay. saw her hit all this. When she tripped and fell. Yes. Okay. Uh, before, no, other than tonight. I mean, well, early, uh, yes, um, last night from the heads and all that, because the doctor had just put us up on information about her having damage in her brain. Mm -hmm. We never knew that. Okay. Like, I didn't know that. Shell didn't know that. But I used to ask Shell the same question that the doctor used to ask when we first got together. Like, does she have problems just because her dad has a situation? Like, what's wrong with her? I used to think... Uh, I said, is she like epileptic or is she? Well, the problem uh, that her dad has, because I, I know I know the situation with him, okay. is he got shot, okay. and that messed with some of his brain, and it wasn't something that her, it was hereditary or anything like that. So I don't think it has any relation to to the dad. But obviously, the way you're explaining, it, there's something it has to you know be. that there yeah. that goes on. But she's never been diagnosed or taken to the doctor. I've only like been with Michelle for a year. Okay. Um, when you've been with Michelle, have you seen Michelle take her to the doctor for anything? No injuries, no broken bones, twisted ankles, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. We, um, <clears throat> I dated Michelle February. Between that and July, before I moved in with her, I never seen that. We wasn't really like seeing each other like that. It was mm -hmm. just like occasionally. But when I moved with her, she didn't have her kids for the summer. They were with her dad. Okay. And then he then they came back around August, to a little daycare from August to either September or she got out in August. One of those, it wasn't long. I knew okay. it wasn't long and she got out. Okay. Um now do you pretty do you guys pretty much stay around the house when, when you're not working or, or going to school? Yes. Either you staying in the house, watching movies, cooking. Um, but y'all usually together all all the time. All all y'all are all together. You really don't go out and do much. Okay. Um, now, when the, when the kids act up, what's done? You know, when they're not following directions and they're and they're. Uh, I'm like getting in the corner, and she doesn't. I uh I tell her, oh, you're not going to eat, and then she eats late, or she doesn't eat her favorite food, which is she likes to eat pizza, pancakes, chicken, or eating what we eating, and then the worst thing is the night oh no TV. Okay. Yes, so she and she she responds to that. You know, by saying, hey, you're going to eat later, you're not going to get your favorite food or no yeah, TV and she, tonight. Yeah, she has the older sister. Yeah, okay. she gets right. You tell Shell, like, it's had, it's had to be something wrong with her because she's been, like, on some, like, zoning out lately, like, way before all this happened. It was like she been was on some zoning out. I used to think it was, like, seizures or something. I don't know. Okay. That's why I say epilepsy. I don't know what's going on. I'm just spitballing things because I, right. I, I, right. I, don't, I don't know. I'm with you. I'm with you. So with her, you said that she goes in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, what about past that? What if she's in the corner and she doesn't, she won't stay there? She keeps talking back or whatever. No, she doesn't talk back. Uh, when she, she, uh, when she's in the corner, she usually, if she's zoned out or she goes from being like this, and then she goes to being like this, and then she starts swinging around, doing this, and then she starts doing this, and I'll be like. So she'll respond back when you holler at her? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, do, do you ever have to discipline her, spank her, anything like that? I spanked her a few times, like once or twice, but her mom spanks her. Okay, her mom's the, the one that disciplines her. The discipline. Why is that? You just... 
uh, because of the fact of peeing. Last time I spanked her was when she used the bath. She bowed, moved on the floor. Okay. That was it. But my mom, her mom, her, and her dad was like, no, this and that. And I said, I understand because I have a son. And right. he's been in a situation with my uh, baby mother and her boyfriend whooping him with a belt. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be a contradictor because. Right. I'm with you. Yeah, I, I completely understand. I just wanted to get your, your opinion on it. Okay. So, so it's mom, it's Michelle that usually does a disciplinary spanking. Um, tell me about that. How, how does she do that? What does she use? Hand? What does she use? Hand um, on the butt. Okay, hand on the butt. Does yeah. she ever use a belt or? She uses a belt. She she doesn't use it like full out or from the buckle to the long. She doesn't whoop like that or nothing okay. like. She folds it about twice. Same thing like she does with her hand, just not too much. Just okay. Um, when's the last time you saw a spanking? Yeah. This weekend. This weekend. Okay, she was acting up to where she had to be spanked. No, that was just the bowel movement. Oh, that, that was the bowel movement where you <clears throat> you had to spank her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prior to, when was the last time that you oh, saw the, mom spank her? Yeah. Uh, last week. Last week or probably the week before. Okay. And was that with the belt or with just the hand? The hand. Okay. The belt, the belt, uh, the belt stopped based off of, uh, she don't. She just didn't like it because I don't know. I don't know why the reason she just said she just doesn't feel right whooping her child with a belt. Okay. But she just used her hand because she, she can handle talking to her because she cooperates more with a belt. When she gets the belt, she just yeah just looking and then when she used her hand. Oh, okay, mommy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Okay. How many times does she usually have to have to spank her before she'll? Um, like I said, twice. Twice, three, usually three, three or four at the most. Okay. Nothing more. I never see nothing. Is it the more. bear behind, or is it through the through the clothes? What she uh, she is banker. Panties. Okay. Like shorts down, spank on the panties. Or they might not all the way be down. Like in between. And is she squirming, or is she fighting, or is she basically? Is the baby her? fighting yeah. away from it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. She'll be trying to trying you know, to get away, away from, from it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but pa past the spanking, have you seen any other type of discipline that takes place? None whatsoever? None whatsoever. Okay. Um, do you have a follow up right now? I will. Because you're a dish, you're all the way done. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, the, the reason we're here, I'm, I'm going to cut through the chase. The reason we're here is uh, basically there's injuries. Mm -hmm. to the child that aren't consistent with falling in the shower. Okay, there's a lot lot more that's happened, a lot more that's gone on. Yeah, that's what uh, the doctor said. There's a lot more bruising that's there that is not consistent with anybody's story. Uh, we're trying to figure that out. We're mm -hmm. trying to determine what happened. And <clears throat> we're trying to, to get to the bottom of it to figure out who's, who's causing these injuries. Now, with her, let me ask you this. Uh, if somebody is physically causing harm to this child, what do you think should be done to that person? Um, the person needs to be figured out. Needs to be figured out, okay. Um, why? Why you're doing it, okay. Um, Punishment-wise, um, how do you think they should be punished? I will leave that up to the lawmakers. I wouldn't want to be a judgment. I wouldn't know. What if it was your child? If it was my child, you got a, you have a son or daughter. I have a son. Okay. Um, what is your son? I would want to be honest. I would yeah, want to get reve revenge for my child. Okay. That's just being honest. Okay. I want to use law enforcement. I know that sounds crazy. Right. I'd probably be in either dead or in jail somewhere, thinking like that. But I've been in a situation like that before where my um, son got whooped. So if it was my child, yes. What, what about? What about those little girls that live in your house? Yeah. I mean, obviously you care for them. Yes, I can I tell do. by looking at you. So if somebody's intentionally hurting those children. I would want to find out. You'd want to find out. Is it a revenge situation? Or is it something you think law enforcement should put them in jail? I mean, what are you, what are you thinking? I need you to be honest with me, okay? 
Yeah, yeah, it's going to be very unpopular. Okay. Um, something's going on in the house. Okay. And you and Michelle and the two girls were there last night. Yes, sir. Okay. It was just just, just us. Nobody, nobody else there. And we're something happened in that house last night, and it's been happening in that house. That the medical evidence is going to be very clear. There's going to be no doubt um, of what happened and what occurred. Not only with the injury to the head, not consistent with falling in the shower and you know getting an injury there. Uh, there's other injuries that are on her um, that don't make sense. Yeah. They don't make sense at all. And we will get to the bottom of it, but it depends depends where you want to be in this whole thing. Well, like I said, me and Michelle, we don't do no crazy stuff like that. Like, that's what I know for sure. Now, as far as her falling and her injuries that we seen, that's what we saw. I didn't even know that the baby had uh, other injuries around her, little bite marks. I don't want to blame nobody, but I'm ashamed of what the hell is going on. You feel me? Um, so, you, you're the one that brought up the bite marks on her. I brought up uh, the fact that... Right, no, I'm, I'm, who's biting her? Cause you you told me that her sister don't bite her. I don't and bite she her. She doesn't bite herself. She, uh, so Michelle she? doesn't. I don't. I never seen Michelle bite her. I, I haven't bite her. Um, I never seen bite her. I don't know if she bit herself. I don't know if another an adult bit her. Some sometimes. Sometimes we get in situations with kids, and you have kids. Yes, I do. Um, where you get so frustrated that you lose control. Yeah. That and you go too far. I can tell you an example with me and my son, specifically where he had a handprint on his behind because I was so upset. And that never should have gone that far. Yeah, but she it had, did because I was she so has, mad. She, she had a bruise that I never whooped her before like that. She has a bruise on her, on her butt. Now she did have one bruise on her butt that came from a whooping, but Carrie's, I don't know, I, like I said, I don't want to blame it or nothing. I'm not making no excuses, but she. I don't know if it was her skin diseases or if she had a skin disease. I don't know. When she was falling out, she'd uh, hit her head before, like when we was running. That's what I was saying. Um, the bite marks. The doctor said he didn't even know what that was, but he was gonna get to the bottom of it. And that's why I was looking at Michelle. We was crying because I never seen it. You feel me? Right. I never seen it. Um. So let, ask, me, let me ask you this, when last night before this all happened, did she have marks on her eyes? Right here? Yeah. And uh, no, I don't know if it was from, I didn't see, I didn't see it. Did she I, have bruises on her arms and legs? She had the bruises, she, she had the, she had uh. Not the skin marks, I'm talking like. The bruises on her, on her, you saying on her, on her face and. There was on her face, on her arms, on her legs. The bruises, that's what she had. That's her ribs. That's, I didn't on see. On her it. stomach, I didn't, on her butt. I, I didn't see the, um, I seen them on the butt. I seen a little, uh, the gash right, uh, I don't know if it's a gash, if that's what you call it. I seen that and I seen this one over on this side. I seen those. What are those from? I don't know. I don't know if those scrapes. Have you um, have you ever seen Michelle lose control? No. I have never, you ever lost control? With I have lost control yelling with, loud. Okay. I never, I never, I never, ever, ever. I don't have no history of violence. I don't have no history of hurting kids. I don't believe in that. I want to understand that, and I have a, a great sense of mind. I, I mean, I, I, obviously, you know that when you come in here, we run your background, and all that. Yes. I don't see anything that jumps off at me with you. Nothing at all, and that that's what that's what concerns me. Because right now, we're trying to figure out who the suspect is and who the witnesses are. And if we can't figure that out, then everybody's a suspect. suspect yeah. And we've um, got to figure that out. And what I'm what I'm trying to caution you with is which one do you want to be, and where do you want to be in this in this process? I don't because know. I know that. I know by, by talking to you that this has concerned you, this bothers you, yes, it does. and you're trying to decide the right thing to do of, of, of how, how to work how, this out. And, as, a, as, a fam as, a, as a family man, I don't want to see myself in jail or prison. I don't want to see Michelle in jail or prison. I don't want to, I didn't even want.
in the situations that she's in. That right. I don't want to see mom or losing her stepdad because their dad's not shit. I don't want to see her sister and then I have my own family. I'm in school. I'm finna get ready to graduate right. in a month. You know what I mean? So it's like... And you're going to make good money We're doing welding and all that stuff. There's good money in that. So you need to think about yourself. Think about your son. Yes, sir. And think about what the right thing to do is, okay? And make the right decision that if you know something, you need to share it with me. I because don't. when the investigation's done, it's going to be very clear of what happened, when it happened, and where it happened. That's the good thing about these medical things. Yes, sir. That there's no question. You know, we've got doctors upon doctors upon doctors over there doing examination, x-rays, and figuring stuff out. Yes, sir. Okay? We work directly with the state attorney. She comes in and she talks to us in these cases to figure out which way am I going to go and what's going to happen. Yes, sir. That way she can get a clear understanding of what happened and what went on. And yes, I can sir. guarantee you that people that cooperate and tell us the truth, she can look at that and understand it better yes, sir. than people that don't yes, sir. tell us the truth. And they look at it, well, the medical evidence shows this. This is exactly what happened. How the hell did he not know that? Yes, sir. And she's going to think that you're lying and you're a bad guy. You're not a bad guy, are you? No, sir. No, and no, I don't think you are. No, By talking to you, I don't think you are. But if you know something, you need to think about yourself. Okay? I, I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking about everything that's going on. I don't know nothing. I have lost control. I have screamed. She has lost control. She has screamed, but we never ever took it to the point where we will want to like harm them or kill them. Or neither one um, of you have, no, have been excessive I, with discipline with either one of those kids. No, could my kids be around? Her kids be around? And then it, it it doesn't. It wouldn't make sense for that for me because like I got a question like that before, and I'm like, same level. They both round us. I have a problem. I have a problem. We whoop them the same way, so I don't. I don't. Well, I don't. It sounds like one complies when you threaten with, "Hey, I'm gonna take TV away or this that." And the other one sounds like you have to go a little bit further. It's a little she, bit more stubborn. She, you know, she, 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 she's hard headed. I wouldn't necessarily say hard headed. It's just she wants. She, she told her mom that she wanted to be with her dad. That's the only reason. Maybe that is stubborn. Cause she was rebelling, but she never, she never got punished. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she was just really about to go to her dad. That's what was even crazier. That's why. What's the last time she's seen her dad? Um, June or July, summertime, because that's when her and her nana had him. Okay, so it was what three or four months? Since. Since she spent time with her dad, I guess. October. Yes. Okay. June and July. The Nana had him over the whole summer. I just had moved in with her. So it wasn't like I said, I don't I don't know if the bite mark came from over there. I know she I know from the doctor saying that the bruising that you're saying about like the ribs and things mm -hmm. like that, we don't know where that come from. Okay. You know what I mean? Do you um, see, do you, this, I know, I'm sorry. No, no, no I, I, I interrupted you. I apologize. Keep going. These, I seen for sure, you know what I mean, hit the concrete. For sure, for sure, I seen that. The These right here, no, because that would sound like, I, I never seen that. I don't know, like, I don't know if that came from hitting the concrete or not. I don't know. I never seen it from her, like, sleeping and stuff. She sleeps, so I, I can't imagine um, bags or anything like that or some something, something strong. And then the doctor said she had, like, uh, blood behind her eyes or something like that. So I don't know if, it, if it's from that. Uh, Did, when you wake her up, in the, and, and you may not, but when somebody wakes her up in the middle of the night, because you all wake her up to go to the bathroom so she doesn't, um, when you wake her up, is she... Does she is she groggy? I mean, does she fall down or she walk fine? Does she sleepwalk or anything? No, she doesn't sleepwalk. She walks fine. She sways. She does. She does this with her shoulders. Okay. But and she's not falling down in the ground or hitting the walls or you when know, she like, or any of that. Temper tantrums, like nothing more. Like that's why I'm saying, like I don't know. I I seen her do things like <clears throat> this before. You know what I'm saying? Like her arms go back. These was way before all this happened. I have seen all like these little effects, and then I'd be like, I yell at her. She 
yes sir but she's talking and when her mom does it but her mom says she's been done doing that for like her whole she gets real rigid almost kind yes sir of, okay but she's not falling into walls it's not a situation where she's falling into walls or tripping over stuff knocking um, over the tv no the face on no. coffee tables anything like no, that. no no well i have seen um i've seen that with the chair um what does that mean what do you mean you saw that with the chair the, the, uh, we have you ever seen them little basket things that people would make basketball goals out of? Yeah. Okay, yeah. those, she had that. We have a table in our uh, dining room. And I have seen that where she possibly could have uh, hit that or something because we don't heard that before. But this was, I can't put a time on it. I really don't know, but I've seen the space. And this was when Michelle was home. But we was always looking like, oh, because Michelle said something about, she had a situation before with uh, DCF or something like that. Okay. Um, and it made her kind of nervous. So she was trying to do home, you know, remedies and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't nothing based off of her, I don't think. I don't so she, what, what type of DCF issue? What do you, uh, like where somebody said that she was hurting a child where Michelle was? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Uh, based off of, this is when they stayed, this is way before I met her. Okay. Uh, this was when she was like, I guess she said three or four. This is when her and her baby dad stayed together. Okay. And they had a DCF issue that dad dad was hurting the, the girls? Yes. They, well, her dad used to be whooping, whooping the ass. But okay. she didn't say ass, but she was like, her dad always get a whooping. That's why I love you, Jonte, because you may yell, but you, you're good. You're good to my mom stuff like that say anything she doesn't say nothing say and uh michelle's been in a situation where she has been beaten on by so i don't want to say like i said it's not it's not him but i don't know and it's not it's not us and he hasn't been not, around for four months or so so anything recent wouldn't be wouldn't uh, be him right no he hasn't been around in four months he hasn't mm -hmm. been around since july he hasn't been calling um the things so that, any of the injuries couldn't be because of him. I don't. Right? I, don't I wouldn't know because I never seen. <clears throat> I never heard anything like when she's around. She doesn't. She doesn't move like anything's messed up or broken. She only moves the same way she was moving when I first met him, swaying. Okay. Um. Something that Michelle shared with us is that she she had been touching herself. Yes. Did, were you aware of that? I mean. Yes, sir. Um, does she do it in front of you as well, or is it just... She has did it in front of me. Okay. That's, that's, you know I, why, why she's doing that? From, from to be honest, she, uh, she said something about it was touching, touching her, that's... It's the dad. Yeah, between us. I, I never shared that information with nobody else that, when she told me that. Um, but yes, I used to see you was in the bed, she'll be doing this, doing, like, rubbing on herself. And then when she first came back from her house, she was doing like this, touching on herself. And I'm like, what are you doing? She doesn't say anything. She just said, I want my dad. I want my dad. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did she say what dad did to her? Michelle or the baby? The baby. I she never, said dad touched her though? No. I, I always asked her. She never said anything. Okay, I misunderstood you. Yeah. Um, Michelle... She ended up confronting me. She said she don't know if uh, the dad was touching on her or stuff like that. So I was just going more and more and more and more. But I was like, it makes more sense because... Did, did you say you never told anyone outside of you and Michelle, you mean? Yes, sir. Okay. So it wasn't reported, is what you mean, not that you didn't share it with Michelle. Yes, sir. Um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions just to make sure you know where we're at with this. Okay, excuse me. Um, what did the doctor tell you today at the hospital, you and Michelle, when y'all were in that room? The doctor said uh, she has a bite mark. Uh, she went in cardiac arrest. Um, she had blood behind her eyes, uh, and that was it. He didn't never say nothing about the ribs or the bruising. That's why I've just heard that from, from you. Did he say anything about... What's going to happen point forward like he expects he said uh probably she's looking f she's her heart was beating um they had on a breathing machine she's looking forward but he don't know if she's going to make it that's how he's um, okay so it's pretty serious injuries yes sir. what we're talking about here yes sir 
we're not talking about spankings or falls. No. Um, was a difficult child for Michelle to control or understand? Kind of. Tell me what you mean by that. Um, the stubbornness from what he's mm -hmm. put out there to me. Um, not listening as far as like go get in the corner, like the swaying, just little stuff like that for us. Uh, just one of her dad, normal things. That's about it. Nothing. Does, nothing. Oh, and the running, not not exercising. Does is Michelle? Is that her first child? That's her second. That's her second child. How many children does she have total? She has two. Okay, two. So, okay. Um, and she's obviously the one she has a little more difficulty with. So she's different than the first child. Yes. Do you think deals with her appropriately? Discipline wise. You said do you think she does does Michelle does she know how to parent? Does she do a good job? Yes, to me. To me. Okay. As a mother, yes, she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't do like I said, she doesn't do anything to the screen. It's not like cause my kids be around so that's judgment already. Mm -hmm. Um no she doesn't do anything out of the norm. Because here, here's what we're running into. Okay. This is, and this, I'm going to try to kind of show you what we're looking at from our perspective so you can understand why we're asking what we're asking. We've got two children, two adults, take care of those two children. Yes, sir. Um, one kid responds normally to this plan. Doesn't sound like much of a problem at all. I saw her today. She seemed like a happy go lucky little kid. The other kid, for whatever reason, we don't know why has some problems uh, responding to discipline or responding to what she's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, because parents are there to tell them what to do. She has a problem Social doing yes. what she's supposed to do. Part of it's probably part, you know, problem socializing. But either way, it's, it's, she's not an easy kid to discipline, it doesn't sound like. So a lot of times what happens is, if a little bit of discipline is not working, you do more discipline. Just like some people think, if you're giving somebody a little bit of medicine, well, I'll give them more medicine to make them better. It doesn't always work that way. More discipline is not always the answer. Um, but parents don't know that always. If she's a young mom, she's an experienced mom, and she's dealing with an unusually difficult child. What we need to understand is how, what happened, because there's only four people in there that we know of, and we're going to talk to everybody that we can. What happened normal, and it's not right, she has enough injuries where she may not make it, is what she just told me. Right? That's why we're sitting here. This isn't the time to worry about anybody else. This isn't the time to worry about you and Michelle, what's going to happen to her, what's going to happen to you. We just need to know the truth. Yeah. Because right now, I don't know. What you and Michelle are telling me so far is not adding up to what I've seen preliminarily. Like, what I've already seen of injuries-wise, just a few minutes I spent in the hospital doesn't make sense so usually when things don't make sense in my world somebody's not telling me the truth now do I think you're lying to protect yourself I don't think so I don't think you did anything do I think you may not be disclosing something that Michelle's doing that's not that's not a good thing maybe and if you are doing something like that not. I didn't ask you oh sorry if you're not doing, if you are doing something like that, now's the time to just come off of whatever it is, because something's happened in the house. And as soon as I get these reports back from the doctors, I'm gonna know. There's only two people I have to talk to because both you and Michelle said you're the only two there. Yes, sir. Now, did you do anything to cause these injuries? No, sir. Very serious injuries. I know they're, they're serious. Life or death. Yes, I know that. That's what I'm... You understand there's only two people in that apartment that could have caused these injuries? Well, from tonight, that's what you're saying. Yes, sir. What yes, happened sir. tonight? Yes, sir. Potentially caused her death. Now, if you're looking at it from my perspective, something happened in that apartment. The evidence is going to show us something happened there that caused her to, to be injured enough where she may pass. Only two people were there. 
what do you think happened? I know. And I don't know. It's not a real great answer right now. No, you're sitting. Uh, I, I, I haven't. Like I said to you and him, I never, I never did anything. I never. She never. I never seen her do anything. We only spanked. And even when these things come back, I have no room to lie. It's really hurt. It's really hurting. I can see it. You feel me? And I have never, ever seen like anything in this situation. Never been in this situation before in my life. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you you said some real like the discipline things. I don't know. Like I have yelled. I have spanked. I never never hit. We never we never hit. We never be on. We never hit. We never um. <clears throat> It's only yelling, spanking with a belt, spanking with the hands. That's it. What do you think happened? I'm I'm thinking that her injuries came from when she was running and we delayed on coming to you guys earlier before. I'm thinking um from her probably exercising at an accelerated race and she's falling. It's probably causing all that. That's the only way my my mind is pitching to that. Uh, as far as the bruising, it's, it's going right back to that. I don't know where the, uh, what do you say she had? Uh, ribs or abdominal? Ribs. Uh, ribs. I don't know if they're broken or, or, or not. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen, like I said, me hit her. I've never seen her hit her. I don't hit. So you said, and you've said that a few times, I'm kind of keen on something you're saying. You said you've never seen her hit her. No. Have you ever suspected that she hit her? No. I, well, I, I'm not paying attention. Well, there's a, key, there's a way, I phrased it the way I did, because I just asked you if you suspected that she did. No, I, I, well, no. I don't want to even second guess myself. No, I'm not, I never suspected. I you never, never were sitting there thinking, man, she, she might went overboard whatever she did to her this time. This isn't something, we've been doing this a long time, I've dealt with a lot of child abuse cases, tons. Yes, sir. This isn't something that happened last night. The worst thing happened last night because it got her in the condition she's in now. But there's a pattern that happens before it gets to this point. Just like with a domestic abuse between a husband and wife, yes, sir. or boyfriend and girlfriend. He doesn't all of a sudden just one day stab her. It leads up there, there's a long history of one a little bit worse than the last time, a little bit worse than the last time, and it doesn't seem bad until you're sitting here in this chair and it all of a sudden got to this point yes, sir. to where it's the worst it could be. So what we're asking about are the little things that might have led up to this. We need to get a good picture of that before those reports come in from you so that we can show that you're cooperative and you're giving us everything that you have. Yes, I am. So tell me about what led up to today. Um... In the last couple of weeks, very defiant. She hasn't been listening to me or her mom. She told her mom she didn't love her. She told me she didn't love me when she did socialize. She said she wanted to go back to her dad. She missed her dad. She wanted to go to her nana. I put her in the corner. I told her, you can't be like that. You, Your mom loves you. Your mom's not doing anything to you. Michelle, she works at night. I'm the only one that's at the house. And when he said, think about me, that's the only thing I'm thinking about because that shit's scaring the shit out of me. I don't want to be in a situation where, you know what I mean? Okay. Where I'm more, it's not that I'm protecting her, it's really on me because if you working at night and then I'm the only one left with the baby, then the thing's going to point at me. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want that on me. I have a, that is makes my conscience okay. bad. So tell me what you know. I'm telling you what I know. That's what I know. And like okay. I didn't suspect no injuries because she was fine. She was she, like she was swaying. That's all I ever seen her do. And before any of this stuff happened, she she already was doing. I don't know what you would call this in a child. I don't know the actual doctor term. But for you to be like this and all this and you sh and you shake. That's what you you've been doing. You know what I mean? And this was with both of us. I don't know if it's from the yelling. It wasn't from me hitting her. It wasn't from her hitting her. I never I never seen her do like 
this like that and her she was always like this but she was responding she was responding tonight I, I like I said I don't know what the hell was going on I'm just thinking this the water and her heart's slowing down and this is the information that I was seeing um, just one thing I'm gonna flip back on she that stood out to me she went to the bathroom before defecated on the floor it sounded like what you said when she pooped on the floor yes sir so how did that happen was that an accident did she intentionally like, take her pants down and go to the bathroom floor because she's mad tell me a little bit about that no I uh, put her in a corner and when I usually put her in a corner this is how she shows her disobedience and rebellion she never she pissed before on the floor like I said go to your room she go to her room she be in she be in the corner then she get out the corner I was like okay sit down she's sitting down she knows how to get up and use the bathroom so she I get in there piss on the floor go to the bathroom she get up yes sir no ma'am yes sir yes ma'am no ma'am that's what her words were when she used to say no that's when I knew it was a problem. Okay, now you're not listening. Then the bowel movement thing was when she was in the, she had her panties on. She, when she doodled, she doodled all the way down. I say it was on the floor because it was coming down her. But she had a whole, you know what I'm saying, a whole draw swap. Mm -hmm. And when was that? That was this weekend. And how did you discipline her for that? I spanked her and put her in the corner. And, okay, so I was listening to her. So why did, was she just walking around when that happened? Or was she sitting on the couch? No, she was standing, she was already standing. She like was she, already in the corner. She was already in the corner. So she was already in trouble for something? Yes. What was she in trouble for? Disobeying, just not rebelling. Uh, I mean, rebelling, not, not listening, being stubborn. Her mom asking her to do things, like little things, like, come on, let's eat. And I'm like, come on, eat. She's not listening to neither one of us goes back to that okay. I think I had a couple of the brain you said something about brain damage did you say that she had brain damage or you thought she did or what was that the doctor said that the baby had a lot of brain injuries and I'm using I'm, I just said damage to replace injury but it's just the same thing he said what she had doctor what was that doctor's name or where were you at Wilson's Hospital. That was just now. That was just today. Yes, Okay. I think that was the clarifications I had. I mean, like I said, we we've, we've we're here. We're giving you opportunities to kind of come forward with stuff. Um, we're gonna be here for a little bit longer. If you think of something you need to tell us, you gotta let us know. If there's anything you're holding back that's gonna come out later, it's gonna bite you. Don't think it's not. Trust me, I, I, I don't, I've never been in a situation like this, never been incarcerated, never been down the line, so it's more I know. making and that's me... That's a pretty good accomplishment, don't you think? Yes. Staying out yes, of trouble? Yes, So it's, you've probably given up a lot in order to keep yourself out of trouble throughout the years. I, you've probably given up friends, you've probably given up relationships just to keep yourself out of jail and not live that life. life you're not about I, that. I'm not, no, I'm not trying to be about that. Like, I don't been, all I do is do my music and I do school. So we want to keep you out of that too. We don't want you to get caught up in something to where you're going to get in trouble. Because when it comes to kids, it's serious. That's and everybody takes it serious. We mm -hmm. take it serious. The state takes it serious. The judges take it serious. And guess what? The juries take it serious. Think about I you were am. sitting on a jury. I am. And you were looking at what we're looking at. I am. Okay. I, I am looking at all the situations. I don't. I don't even know what to say, man. If yeah. you were on the jury and you knew that there were only two adults in that house and knew what was going on, would you believe, being a juror, would you believe that one didn't know what the other was doing? I mean, you both live there. You're the only ones yeah, there. Not if they was in a relationship. Yeah, their relationship. They're relationship. They're, li they're, they're living together. Even though they may not be paying attention, maybe watching the TV, maybe trying to zone out on what's happening, what's going on, you still know what's going on underneath your roof. You still know you what's should. happening in your house. You should, yeah. yeah. You should pay attention to it. And saying I wasn't listening, saying 
I wasn't paying attention to all that is not an excuse that a jury's going to listen to. Especially when you deal with a five-year-old child that will probably die. I mean, you understand that, right? Yes, I do. I mean, yes, I you know do. what kind of detectives we are? No. We're homicide. Homicide detectives? Yeah. That's why I, I that's we, we and when we do when we do cases, you got two of us here, you got the state's attorney here, you got two sergeants watching, you got a lieutenant paying attention, you got Department of Children's Family Service involved, you got three ETs, and a detective talking to a judge right now, and you've got two at the scene. We don't play games. I'm not we even, want to get to the bottom of it. Yes, sir, and you know, we've, not, we've got doctors, like I told you before, that examine the baby right now to figure out what happened. Yes, sir. And I don't like these cases. This is the worst case that I could ever work as a child. You understand that, right? Yes, I do. Yes, and I do. if I find out who did this, I, I want to put them under the jail, okay? And I find out you knew about it and you didn't share it with me, I want to put you under the jail, okay? And you should want to put yourself under the jail because you said if it was your child, you would want revenge. Yes. Think about that. If you know what's happening, what's going on, and you don't share it with me, and we go all this full route, and we find out that you knew the entire time, or it was you, there's going to be problems. Hey, man, mistakes happen. I've made mistakes with my kids, and my kids would tell you I've made mistakes. My wife would tell you I've made mistakes but with I, my I, kids. I never, I never, I'm, I, I made a mistake of whooping her, but I never hit right. her. And that, and that, I never hit her. And that, that may be what's happening, but I'm telling you. If you know what happened, you need to man up and tell us, okay? I'm, I'm not. I know we've gone through that 18 times. Yes, I don't sir. plan on going through all that again. Yes, sir. But, I, I, but we're gonna step outside. If there's anything you want to share with us, now's the time. I am, okay? sir. I am. Like okay. I, I, I didn't suspect anything from Michelle. I didn't. I, I never. I never hit her. All I did was spank her. All I did was spank her. Now the whooping. I, hit, I I have hit her on the back with my hands, but I never punched this baby. Kick her? No. Push her down? No, sir. Hit her with a stick? No, sir. Nothing besides spank her on the behind? Just, just, just holler at her. and holler at her. We never... And you never you never saw Michelle hit her with a stick? No, sir. No, hit sir. Hit her with the broom, push her down? No, sir. Kick her against no, the wall? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, how, sir. How old are your kids? My kids are uh, eight and seven. Boy and a girl. Which one's eight? The girl. The girl. Good. All right, give us a little while, okay? Yes, you need anything? Need water or anything? No, sir. You good? Okay, sir. So, Jante. You know, everybody, you've been in here a long time. Um, hey, listen, a couple things we need to do. First, uh, it's been a while since we've been in here. I want to make sure that uh, your constitutional rights. You remember us going over those? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions about any of those? You want to read through them again? Or? Uh, I've seen it. You've seen it? Okay. Do you have any questions about any of those? Um, I don't uh, know. Okay. It's the same thing that you signed before. I just want to make sure that because it's been it's been a little while since we've been in here, um, that you still understand that you're you're held to these, you know, these rights. You have you know the right to remain silent. Anything you say could be used against you in court. Uh, you have the right to talk to an attorney before we ask you any questions or to uh, have an attorney pre present uh, before questioning. Um, if you don't afford an attorney, will be appointed to you before any questioning begins. And if you decide to answer questions now, you can stop at any time and consult an attorney. You understand those? Okay. I had just had asked the dude. I didn't know what was going on. But I was like, uh, could I have contact my mom? Because I, I didn't know. We've just been investigating. We've been investigating and talking to people all day. Oh, that's I all. Didn't, I didn't. I don't even know yeah. what time. I didn't know it's what it's uh, seven forty right now. Jeez. Okay, so I know it's been a long time. But like I said, we had a lot of work to do. We did a lot of work today. We talked to a lot of people. So that's what we're here to kind of go over again. To explain to you. And then one, one of the things we got to do is we, we want to get uh, get your consent for a cheek swab to for the blood that's in the house and things like that that we can you know validate whose blood's what blood and all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. and do you have any? Issues with that? You want to read through that real quick? No, I don't have any issues. I don't okay. have any blood in the house. Okay. If you want to, just sign that at the top for me. Or, I'm sorry, I'll print your name at the top where it says I.
and then um, <clears throat> go ahead and read through that. Make sure you read it in date and time. I'm going to read everything before you sign. I don't want you to think I'm pulling, pulling anything over on you or what have you. So there's an 18th. 18. Um, 10, Correct. 2018. Right, you just need to sign as the consenting party, rather. Right. you have any questions about that at all? Uh, I don't understand. I, um, I just know cheat swap. Okay. And the blood or whatever. Okay. Basically, what, what this says, you hear that you've been advised that law enforcement, which is me, wish to take cheap, cheap swabs from you and hereby authorize, I'm going to put Jacksonville Sheriff's Office there, which I'm, I'm a member of. Any other officer designated to assist him to take such samples as needed. So actually, I'll write my name there. Um, you've been advised that taking such chance was being conducted in connection with a criminal investigation. We're doing an investigation into, into injuries, okay? Um, <clears throat> you have not been promised, to, I haven't promised you anything to get you to uh, provide me a sample, and I have not threatened you in any way to give me a sample. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you get given, given the consent voluntary and knowledge that the evidence obtained uh, may be used against you in criminal investigations, criminal proceedings. Uh, that I may stand accused. And you've been advised that you have the right to refuse this consent. You can say no, okay? And what this consent is, it, it, it's a consent for, for DNA, which is consistent with blood, saliva, things like that. Okay, does that make more sense? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, I want you to take that out of that package right there, and you're just gonna rub it in your cheek right there. And then stick it in that thing for me. I'm going to have you do the same thing with this one right here. And rub it on that other cheek too. Just get both those cheeks real good. Is everything okay? We're trying to figure that out. Um, while we've been while we've been out of the room, uh, you know, we've been, we've been talking to a lot of people, doing a lot of investigation, okay? Let me get this sealed up real quick, and then I'll, uh, I'll explain to you a little bit what we've done. Um, <clears throat> we were able, I told you that we were, that we were going to talk to, or have her explain a little bit for us of what happened and what went on. She's able to provide us information. We were able to uh, talk to the doctor, too, that does the forensic or criminal investigation into injuries okay. um, and all that to give us a better understanding of the injuries that occurred and injuries that happened there. Okay. Um, and to be honest with you, the the story that y'all were giving us, it it stood for a little while, but just based on investigation and talking to people, it doesn't make sense. Okay. And so we're trying to get to the to the bottom of it. We're trying to get to the truth. Because when we go, I mean, we've been at seven o'clock at night now. That's what. I'm talking about. And you guys, and you guys got here at what, like? Three, four, thirty. That's when it first started. Everything started. You got in here with me, probably about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, somewhere around there is when we started. So almost twelve hours yeah. that we that we've been going and investigating. And like I told you, with the, the team we have, we got a team of people. You know that two sergeants, state attorney. I went and saw a judge today. Um, when our partners went and saw a judge today. So it's not just me and Detective Devereaux. It's a whole team of us doing stuff. Um, <clears throat> we've had people interviewing kids that specialize. That's their job responsibility. That's all they do is interview kids to get a better understanding and to, to, uh, to work with them. So we, we've done a lot. You know, she's a pretty good kid. You said that she, mm -hmm. she pretty, you yeah. threatened her with, hey, I'm going to take your TV away, and she yeah, does whatever just, you say. Just stuff like that. So what about in school? Is she a good student? Uh, yeah, usually she, well, she's just been getting A's recently. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's good. Are the teachers pretty, uh, yeah, um, pretty responsive? I mean, does she listen to what they say and mm -hmm. knows what she's supposed to do? And with y'all, she does what she's supposed to do for the most part. You only have to tell her once and she gets it done, right? Now, what about, um, 
What about, does, does she ever tell stories? You know, little kids tend to tell stories or, or what have you. She's usually a pretty truthful kid, you know, comparatively to others? Uh, usually. She doesn't, I mean, she doesn't be around a lot. Usually she does the same thing as zoning out. As far as like when I'm watching TV and I'm like, doing, she was like, nothing, stuff like that. Nothing more than well, like. She's not, she's not telling, telling big lies or saying that she's getting, you know, in trouble at school, getting F's, no, beating up she, other kids. No, whatever. she doesn't get into fights. She doesn't. But she's not saying, she's not saying any of that. She's not, she's not telling any stories. If she tells you something, you believe her? Most, most of the time. She doesn't really too much talk about much, but when she does, yeah. Okay. So when she does tell you something, you have no reason not to believe her. No. Okay. I, I do my investigation as well. Okay. <clears throat> so that being said, we talked to her, and she gave us a totally different story than, than what you and uh, Michelle were giving us. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what we want to figure out. Basically, our investigation is done. We, we've done everything that we need to do. Well, there's still steps we need to do, but we, to a certain extent, we know what happened. Uh, we know where it happened. We know when it happened which is different at the time that you're telling us that everything happened. Um, to a certain extent, how it happened, we just don't know the why. And we haven't put it together to why why these things all came together. Why got injured to the point where she was, you know, today. And we think we figured it out, you know. We, we, we think we know why it happened, you know, back in the, head, in the head, but really the only person that can answer that is, is you and Michelle, okay? So, I know I have kids, sure. and I have some defiant kids, and some that don't listen to me, they get very frustrated with them, I get very upset with them, and sometimes, you know, we get in those situations, we lose control, and we do things that we don't want to do, we don't mean to do, and, you know, we can't control ourselves. And honestly, I think that's what happened, man. I, th I think that it got to a point where she wasn't respecting you. She'd be disrespectful. She's defiant. She's, she's telling you she likes her daddy more than you. She doesn't love you. She doesn't love Michelle. All that. And you snapped. Me? Yeah, I think you snapped. Actually, let me rephrase it. I know you snapped. I know you snapped. Okay? And what I need to know is, were you intentionally doing it to end her life. Were no, you trying never, to kill her? I never, I never, I never hit her. Okay, hold I on, never. hold on, hold on. One, you need to stop lying, because you ain't gonna get many chances. This ain't yeah, baseball, you say, all right? Yeah, there yeah. ain't three strikes, all right? Because what I've seen today, what I've dealt with today, yes, sir. I don't ever want to deal with. Yes, sir. Okay, they don't They don't call in random Joe Smo to work these cases. Yes, sir. You don't see a guy in a patrol uniform that just got on the street working these cases, they call them a homicide team. Yes, yes, sir. You think there's a higher detective division within the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office besides homicide? No, I never. There's not. I never. You got dudes that chase dope. You got people that deal with people robbing people. You got burglaries. Yes, I deal with people killing people. There ain't nothing worse than that, okay? Yes, sir. So don't play games. I'm not playing games. Okay, well, I don't believe that you don't hit her. For example, I know that you hit her. Okay. All right? I know there's no chance. What I need to know is why you hit her. Did you lose control? I didn't lose control. When I spanked her, I, I spanked her, like I told you before, I hit on her back. I never hit her. Okay. And I never hit okay. her up here. Stop there. And this isn't a spank. This is hitting somebody in the face. No. Hitting a five-year-old little girl in the face. Don't lie to me. I'm not certain. If you lost control, if you fell apart, we can work with that. We can work on that. But if you sit here and lie to me, what do you think is going to happen when I go to a judge with the evidence that I've compiled? You listen see? to me. Listen to me. When I've gone to the evidence that I've compiled from doctors that say what happened, yes, from interviews that I've done not only with Michelle, with her daughter, yes, who you just said wasn't a liar, yes, who other people that are involved in your life, yes, other baby mamas, all that, putting that together to find out what type of person that I'm talking to. Yes, sir. And I've got all that, and I take it before a judge and jury. A judge and jury, this is what I got. Oh, what did he say? He said he don't know nothing about it. How does that look, man? It looks like I'm a, a, a liar. It looks like I'm a... Looks like you're cold-blooded. Looks like you're cold-blooded. Cold -blooded. Yeah, looks like you meant to do what happened. No, sir, I'm not. I'm not <clears throat> then you need to be honest. So we're going to take that story you said before, wipe it clean, forget you told us anything, 
Let's start over. I'm not a cold-blooded person. I, I did. No, take a second and take in what I just said. I don't think you understood what I just said. That story you told us earlier about doesn't what? exist. About doesn't exist. The story you told me earlier gone. Doesn't exist anymore. Tell us what really happened. When we were, I don't, I don't, I don't. What would your mom tell me if I talked to her? My mom would tell you, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a bad person. I'm, I'm not a, I'm a good, I'm a good kid. I've never been incarcerated. This would shock the shit out of her. Uh, she never seen me do this with my own children. Would she tell you that uh, you have an anger issue? N not, not necessarily. Not an anger issue as far as uh, losing control all okay. the time. What about, what about being able to control your emotions? No. You think she, she would say that? So oh, she, no, 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 she would, that's what I'm saying. She, she would say that you yes. have a hard time controlling your emotions. My emotions as far as how I feel about certain things, okay. um, but it was never out of intentions of anger to harm or to hurt. It was always to speak my mind, Okay. speak my mind, not to provoke anyone, because I'm not a fighter. Okay. Did you ever hit your mom? No, sir. Did you ever hit your sister? No, well, yes, I have not. Recently? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, sir. How old is your sister? She's 21. And how old are you? I'm 26. Okay. When you were kids? Yes, sir. You guys? Teenagers. But, like, but nothing in the last year, 26, nothing in the last six years since you've been 20. You never put your hand on Never as far as, uh, we got into it one time in our old apartments in Avalon Hill. How long ago was that? This was, um, last year, okay. I want to say. Uh, yes, yeah, she, um, my sister hit me first. And she tried to hit my mom, so I ended up holding her like this, and I was like, "Move!" And then she ended up hitting me, so I blocked it and pushed her. Okay. Never hit her. <clears throat> Just pushed her. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Back to. Uh, back to your. You take care of them. Is there anybody else that comes to the house and takes care of them with y'all besides you and Michelle? Um. No, not not her. Her dad hasn't called. And forever, the last time he said something, he was like, fuck Michelle and all this. Her nana never came over. Uh, her sisters never came over. The last actual family member that came through was Tiffany's husband. Okay. And wh when was that? That's when he was dropping off her, uh, his son. Um, the end of September. I end say. of September, okay. So a couple weeks ago. Yes, sir. Okay. And did he stay? Did he keep the Did he keep the girls, or he just came in, and dropped his son off, and went about? He came. And he came and picked his son up. Okay. He came and picked his son up earlier that I don't know who. But he wasn't him. alone. He wasn't alone with with the girls or anything like that. No, sir. Okay. Is there ever a time that you and Michelle go out and hire a babysitter for the girls to watch the girls? Um. No, sir. They always be with us. Like I said, Michelle uh, was taking her okay. before, and she took her out of that. You took her out of that because she wasn't social? Yes, sir. Is that the reason? Okay. That's what she told me. Okay. Um, okay. So, previous to this, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, when the doctors go through and they look at her, she has 50 separate injuries to her body. Shh. Which doesn't, it, doesn't, which means that it's not a one time thing, it's not a two time thing. It's that she requires more discipline than other kids but we're taking the discipline to an extent to an extent okay and that's what we need to understand and grasp okay because everybody we talked to said that this isn't a one-time thing that this one you you really lost control and you got enraged and maybe used a little bit too much discipline but the other times like so you had to take care of her I had, to, I had to switch from schools uh I was doing a night school I was going through uh losing my best friend I don't know if y'all heard about it. The, the uh the killing on the beach with Leon Bennett mm -hmm. um that during August it wasn't it wasn't no problems with her nothing that because she just had came back from her dad September was the worst month for us because we just got her sister out of the house uh, she left with her son, um, and that's when problems start more 
more and more and more and more and more and more happening with her and with me trying to discipline because I used to tell Shell, no, no, I don't want to discipline because like I said, I never wanted a man disciplining my son. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell her, don't allow me to discipline, not because of my anger mm -hmm. or my emotional detachment or whatever, however you can use it, I don't know. Yeah, um, it was nothing like that. It was based off of the fact of respect. Michelle used to whoop her. It was a time, you know, I done seen Shell hit her with her fist. Uh, I, I never, I used to tell her, you know, you know what I'm saying, stop, but it was like around the same times, September. This is when all the, the real, real rebellion came, and it was way before hitting. And she had her own rebellion. We go to the corner, go to the corner, she get in the corner, don't do what we say, do your homework, don't do her homework, eat your food. Don't eat her food, piss on the ground. Just defiant. I mean, just sounds like she's just defiant. She's got something going on that makes her rebel against y'all. And <clears throat> it sounds like Michelle was trying. Hard. And it just wasn't working. You know, it wasn't and That's why I used to tell her, just hurry up and send her to her dad. Send her to her dad, because that's who she wants. She wants to be with her dad. Send her to her dad. She was like, I don't want to lose my baby. And I said, it doesn't make you feel like you're less of a mother. It's not going to make you feel like, because you're going to always have her image and you're going to always have her. It's not like you're going to lose her. You're going to have her. It's just, and it's not like she's going with anybody. It's her dad. Let her go with right. her dad. So, your phone. It's with Michelle. What's it look like? Um, black. Black is a, it's a galaxy. Samsung? Yes, sir. Okay. What's your phone number to it? I don't know it's in there. Like I said, it was in the Oh, that's phone. right. You told me that earlier. It's been a while. Um, so Michelle has that. What's the passcode for it? One way. The word? Yes, sir. The number one and way. W-A-Y? Yes, sir. Okay. And the laptop you have at the house, is it a black laptop? Yes, sir. What's the password for that? Kid Smurf. Spell that for me. K-I-D-S-M-U-R-F. Any capital in there? Um... You can try to capital K. Usually, it's either lower or uppercase. Yes, sir. Um, Kid Smurf one. I think it's one. Kid Smurf one. Okay. It's either Kid Smurf or Kid Smurf one for my laptop. That's what I do my music on. Okay. You have a Facebook page or anything like that? No, sir. No, no, Facebook. Facebook. Um, Instagram. Yes, sir. You do have Instagram. What's what's your Instagram name? Um, one way I think. One way. One only way. <clears throat> one what? One only way or one way. It's still it's on my phone. Okay. Um, what's up with that empty room in the house? The, I was going to end up turning it into a studio. The music. Yes, sir. Um, her old sister used to stand there, but not night. Uh. Michelle rooms and you know me I was like okay well sleep a, like alone she's a baby uh, and then she wants to be around her sister that's her saying that so I was just going off with that and I was gonna use my idea of making a studio okay why would Michelle tell us it was because you didn't think about anything yeah that too because that's of it. her attitude so it, it was to punish her for her attitude. Just taking things away from her. Well, that's her. how you punish kids. That's a normal way to punish kids. You take away things they have so they'll behave. So they so can they behave do. for to earn it instead of just feeling like it's given to you because of you being bad. Okay. So that's what she told us. But you also were going to make it a studio at some point if she never... I was really going to make it a studio around this week. Okay. It recently just happened. So those 50 injuries he mentioned, could anyone else have done that? Because you we, we, you told us about who could take care of the child. It's just you and Michelle. So could anyone else besides you have done those injuries? Just me and her. Right, but I'm, I'm asking about you. You think Michelle caused any of those injuries? To, uh, not, well, mo probably from some of the whoopings, but I know the ones. So like I said, those are, we've only talked about probably six or seven specifically that you've said, yeah, I did that. And maybe because you just don't remember. But like I said, there's a bunch of the bunch that are there. They exist. 
Are they from you? They're not from, I, like I said, I didn't, uh, I remember the doctor saying, did somebody punch her or kick her? That's why I was like, no, right. no punching, no kicking. All right, so uh, she's. The injuries from this. Okay. She's in your care. She's not in daycare. She's not in school. No one else watches her. And it's during the she day. has these injuries. Tell me how they get there. Um, Any of them? I mean, she did whoop. She did whoop. And she, how did she whoop them? She whoops with a belt as well. Where did she, she hit them? She turns them on their stomach and she whoops them with a belt. On their buttocks, their back, their legs. Buttocks and back. I remember one time we had to hold them together because can we? So other than the belt marks that are on her butt, back, and legs, could any of those injuries been from Michelle? Other than those. Other than those we just said, the, the belt marks. No. So everything else. Um, I want to move on to another topic we've, we've discussed. We've seen some other injuries we saved for last. Um, she got injuries on other parts of her body. Okay. Specifically on her vagina. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. Okay, me, tell me about I'm that. Not on that. Okay. Not on that. Never touch the child. Not on that. If that's where you guys. Well, I'm, just, I'm asking you. She's got an injury down there. How would she have gotten that? Um. Maybe a Michelle and what we would have built naked. Is there any chance that your DNA is going to come back inside her? No. There's no chance that my DNA is going to come back inside her. No, 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 no. No, you can use that. No, you can swap that. No, sir. No, sir. No, no, this. No, no, this. None of that. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Well, that's easy enough. We'll see. Okay. I'm good. We'll, um, we're going to go out, talk a little bit, and we'll be back in. Um, we asked you a question earlier. I'll ask you again okay. now that we've kind of been. What, um, we asked you, what happened to the person that did this? Say it again. I asked you earlier, he asked you earlier, what should happen to the person that did this? What do you think should happen to you now? Same thing he said. He would get revenge and bury me. Well, do you think he should go to jail? Yes, sir. How long? How long did that take for what happened for a five-year-old's life? Oh, she passed. What did the doctors tell you? You know what we know. The doctor said she's not going to recover. Um, you know, this is, this, like I said, I've never been incarcerated. Uh, I would leave that up to you, gentlemen. I don't, you, don't, you don't have an opinion? I mean, I don't, I don't want to spend my whole life in jail for a stupid mistake and I messed up. Um, you think it's for your whole life in a grave because of this? No, sir, it's not fair. No, sir, it's not fair from a, from a stupid mistake. From a stupid mistake, no, sir. I don't feel like I was I was in here praying to myself, and I kept hearing uh, I was more scared of a, a, a life for a life. What do you mean? Doing life. You were worried about spending the rest of your life in prison? Yes, because I don't. I'm that guy, man. I'm not that guy, man. I'm not that guy, and I don't want to lose my kids. I did want to ask you a couple other questions. Were you ever abused as a kid? By my uncle. How? Uh, I never told anyone outside my mom, and she didn't believe me, but he, he he's passed, but he would be, as far as with his fist. Uh, he had one of his girls friends molest molest me. How old were you? Uh, around twelve, uh, uh, twelve, ten, and nine. Okay. What grades? Uh, what grade did you complete in school? What kind of education did you get? Oh, I, I graduated. I went to uh, college. Did you graduate college, or did you get some college? I did Full Sail University, and I'm finna graduate next month. From Tulsa, Orlando. Okay. Full sale in Orlando? Yes, sir. Okay. And how was your family life growing up, like with your mom and dad? We moved here. My, I don't know my dad. When we moved here, everything was good. It was me, my brother, my mom, and my sister. But uh, you and your mom and your brothers and all got along pretty well? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that's it. All right. Give us a couple minutes, okay? Do you need anything? You good right now? Do you get some water and chips and all that still? So if you want to eat, can. Yes, it's just. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, give give us some time, okay? We'll be right back.
so kind of walk me through, if you will. You said that only you, you, your boyfriend, and your two children live at the, the house. Nobody else lives there. Does anybody else come to visit? Anything like that? I mean, on a regular basis? Who was there last night? Just us. Just us? Or just y'all? Okay. And then what, t what time do y'all go to bed? I don't go to bed. You don't go to bed? You stay up? You don't, ever, you don't ever sleep? Well, I do, but I work night shifts, so I'm normally up. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So you were you up last night? Okay. Um, did you work yesterday? I worked for a little bit. A little, where do you work at? I work at 7 11. Oh, so, Wilson and Lane. Okay, Wilson, Wilson and Jamie's right there? No, Wilson and Lane. Oh, that's right. You're right, yeah, that's right there. <laughs> I, I haven't been over that area in a while. Um, okay, so you worked the night shift. So you worked a little bit yesterday, then you came home. What time did you get home? I got home. I got home early. I didn't even stay because I didn't feel well. Okay, so you came home, you weren't feeling well? You just had like a little flu or what? No, my stomach went hurting. Okay, okay. So, you came home, everything everything was fine. Was every, when you got home, were the kids the kids home? Mm -hmm. And your boyfriend was there? Do they go to school at all? And then your younger daughter, she doesn't go to school right now. She's not in pre-K or anything. Does she does she go to, pre, uh, to like a daycare? She was in a daycare. How long ago was that? Not too long ago. Okay, like not too long. Is that like a month, a couple of weeks? A month. A little over a month. Okay. So, when you got home, everything was fine, no issues. Uh, and then, um, what time did the girls go to bed? My girls go to bed early too. They go to bed really early, like nine. Nine o'clock. Okay. And then uh, your boyfriend, what time does he go to bed? He stays. He's a night crawler too. Okay, so he stays up late as well. So the girl, do they have their own bedroom? Yes. In there? Okay, each separate bedroom or they stay in one bedroom? No, they have their own bedroom. Okay, very nice. Um, because it's a big bedroom apartment. Okay, cool. So, so you guys are up. They went to bed, I guess, um, at some point throughout the night. One of the girls woke you up. and I normally, to be honest, I normally get up just to check on them regardless. That's just some normal parent thing. I normally get up just to make sure they're still breathing, that they're okay. Okay. Or if they peed on his up. Okay. So you say you get up. What do you mean you, you get up from, you in the living room or? No. You I'm you weren't no, sleeping. Yeah, I normally be in the room or I normally be in the living room. Okay. So you lay, laying down watching TV or what? On my phone. You're playing on your phone? Okay. So you'll, you'll be in the living room or in your bedroom playing on your phone and sometimes throughout the night you'll get up just to, just to check on just being an overcautious parent, which <laughs> all of us are. Um, so up and she comes to your bedroom. No, I go to her. You go to her. And so in the middle of the night, you go to her. About what time is that? By the time I went to her, it was around 3. Around 3, okay. Yeah. So you check I on her. I was making sure she was okay because okay. I told you she was sick. Okay. So. Because I had gave her medicine, so I was making sure she was okay. Okay. What were you giving her medicine for? She didn't feel well. She just, like a bellyache or what? No. Jante had the flu. Okay. And he, I guess, I don't know if she caught it or not, but she wasn't feeling well. Okay. How long do or do you have primary custody? Of I girls? have both of my babies. You have both of them. Does does dad see them at all? He used to see them, um, but I had a feeling that I thought he was touching my youngest daughter. Okay. And we had a case on that one. Okay. But um, I don't know if it's still open or not. But we had a case. Um, he still he didn't get them for a minute. Um, because they told me don't let him get them for a minute because we had the case. But I ended up letting them go. So they can spend time with their dad. Sure. Okay. But um, he hasn't seen him in the last. He hasn't seen him in the last four months. Last four months. He he just hadn't shown any interest to come over. No, he and hasn't called. Spend time. Nothing. So he hadn't he hadn't been around him for four months. No. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, and they miss him. Mm -hmm. Now what 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 gave you the impression that that he was touching your youngest? Because my daughter would touch herself. Yeah, and I didn't like that okay. uh, because I'm a victim of it, and okay. I didn't want none of my girls to go through that. So she was touching her and stuff, but I went to the doctor, and they said no, she had just a, um, an infection. Okay. So he was cleared, but okay. I still, you know, I'm still a cautious mother, so I was like, no, I'm just going to, like, keep them just to be, you know, supervising them. Sure, okay. To make sure they're okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you called the Department of General Family Services. They did an investigation. No. Who did you do the investigation? The hospital did it. Oh, the hospital did. Okay. So I took to the hospital to get checked. Okay. Um, so the hospital called. You had some suspicions there. 
but ended up she had an infection and mm -hmm. you don't think that he was doing that then? No, I don't, but I, I would ask her, I would always ask her, hey, has anybody touched you? Because she, she still doesn't. So I was like, did anybody touch you? She'll look around, she won't tell me, you know, if anybody did it or not. She'll okay. just be like, she'll quiet. My daughter's really quiet. She doesn't really talk to nobody. Okay. She doesn't, she's very antisocial, so she okay. doesn't really do anything. Okay. Um, does she have any, any medical conditions that... When she was a baby, we were supposed to um, have surgery on her head, okay. but we never got it done because her brain, they finally formed in, okay. so we never got surgery for it. Okay, so so that, that healed itself, the brain mm -hmm. issue healed itself. What about uh, after that? Did she ever have to go to a doctor for any injuries or um, any medical conditions, um, anything like that? One time we went to, um, like, if anything like medical, medical happened, she had to get her shots or... Mm -hmm. She did break her arm, but they popped it back in place. Okay. How long ago was that? Oh, it's been a minute. Like a year or two. Okay. So when, when she was four, how did she break her arm? She was with her. I had a babysitter with her. And she, when I got home, she was crying about her arm. And the lady was uh, later was like, well, I think she probably slept on the wrong side of the bed. But she, she does. She sleeps really like wild. So okay. I was like, okay, well, I'll just go get a check. And they popped it back in place. Yeah, she's a hard one to sleep with. She takes over the whole bed. I got, I got one like that. Um, so they, they popped it back into place, they were fine. What about any other broken bones? Is she No legs, no arms, no, no. shoulder bones, no nothing else? No. Okay, okay, good. Um, what about any other, is she, is she an active kid? I mean, is she? No. She's not, she's active. not as active like her sister is. She'll, you know, she'll run around, she'll play with her sister. She's uh, love her sister. Yeah. But other than that, my daughter's not as active as I would want her to be. Okay. She, like I told you, she's very antisocial. <clears throat> she likes to stay inside and read books and... No. No. What does she do? She keeps to herself. She just keeps to herself. She doesn't play a lot? No. She's normally watching TV or she's with me. Okay. So she's not one that falls down and... She does. Breaks bones and all no, that stuff. No. That's when we were running. Like, if I... I have to make her go outside. Like, what, what was with when you were running? We... I told y'all, I've, um... I, my goal is to lose weight. Okay. I've been trying to lose weight for a minute after I had my youngest daughter. It's technically not working because it's not going nowhere. And we all will run as a family just to get it in shape so we can all be good and sure, healthy. Sure, sure. She doesn't like running. I told y'all she's not very active at all. And okay. she likes to fall down and likes to cry and throw a temper tantrum. Right. So that's about it. Okay. So she, when y'all were running, she fell down. What? What injury did she get there? She just she scraped her leg? She scraped her arm. Okay. Like she, has, she scraped her arm right here. And she scraped her legs. I don't even know if she hit her head because she fell so fast and I just picked her up really fast. Okay. So I don't know if she hit her head or not. How long ago was that? It wasn't too long ago. We run almost every day. Okay. But I mean, was it yesterday or was it like weeks ago? A week ago? No, we run every day. So I wouldn't know because we run every day. Okay. But does she fall every day? Almost every day she'll fall down? Because okay. she doesn't want to do it. So she's, she's not falling because she's running or sprinting and tripping. She's falling down she doesn't because want to do she it. doesn't want to do it. Kind of throwing a tantrum type of thing. So it's not like she's running and falling. She's just dropping and saying, Mom, I don't want to do this. <coughs> this and whining and complaining. i got one like that too. Um, <clears throat> the uh, So back to, how, how does her and her sister get along? They don't. They're okay. Girls. Okay. But they love each other. They have a good bond, but they don't get along. They argue a lot. Okay. Um, now, when they argue, do they do they ever fight? Do they were okay. So I mean, they they, yeah, they tussle. I'm used to, yeah, I'm used to them fighting. I have okay. no issue with my kids fighting. Okay. So they'll they'll tussle and they'll fight and we come crying saying we fought. Okay. And I have to break it up. But they, other than that, they get along okay. very well. Now, just do. I mean, are they punching? Are they wrestling? What what type of fighting? Bite each other. They hit each other, or they push each other around. Okay. But that's about it. Okay. So they'll they'll bite they'll bite each other. They actually bite each other. They leave marks. Um. Lately, no, not that I know. Like if they do anything, they won't tell me. They won't tell me nothing until I find out. Okay. That somebody's done something. But when you when you look at your daughter, do you see? Do you I know, organize like? Look at her and make sure she's okay. Yeah. Yes, I do that. Okay, and I'm not. I'm not questioning you. Don't get offended by any question I ask. With her, I'm not. Okay. I, I know you're not, but I know I'm asking a lot of questions and things like that. And I, 
sometimes I'm harsher than I mean to be, and I don't mean to be, and I can see on your face that by me asking you if you check your child, I offended you, and I apologize for that. That's not my intention, okay? I just want to do a very thorough, detailed um, information about what happened and what occurred, okay? Um, so when you, when you physically look at your daughter, do, do you see marks on her? Like Yes, they do. They do have marks on them. But I would think, I, no, I don't pay it no mind because I'm like, okay, well, it'll heal. It'll, you know, it'll go away. They're right. kids. They're going to yeah. do that. Sure. So the, you said, you, you mentioned bite marks there. Did, have you seen bite marks on your daughter from, from the fights that they have? Like, well, does she have bite marks where? No, I have bite marks. Okay. Does your bite marks? One that is the biter. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. I was mean. Yeah. But they both do it, so. <clears throat> All right. Like, she can get a whooping and she doesn't hit the fast. Okay. Um, since you brought that up, speaking of whooping, how, how do you discipline your children? What do you. What? I normally put them in a punishment, like, not punishment, I normally put them in a corner. Like a timeout? Type yeah, thing. or they get a whooping. Okay. Okay. And how often do you think they get whoopings? They don't get whooped like that. Um, but if they do something bad, they do. They do okay, I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm, I've got a son that uh, needs a whooping just about every day, the way that he acts. Um, so, with that, are you using your hand? Do you use a belt? Do you use a, a board? What? I use a belt. I, use a belt? Would you... Listen, no, no, none of this is bad. This is just questions that we have to ask and, and figure out. There's, there's nothing wrong with whooping your child with a belt if, it, if it's done correctly. You know, there's, there's nothing, my mom hit me with a fly swatter for years. That was her go-to. That's what she got, and that hurt. Because fly swatters aren't, they got that reaction and slap back. Um, but my children, they don't like whooping. They like to move around everywhere. Like, if you like get a whooping, they don't stand in one spot. I used to do it. My mom used to whoop me, so I understand. Right, okay. Um, all right, so let's let's get back to, if we can, last night up until the, this morning, at 3 o'clock, you went in to check on her. What what did you find? She peed on the stuff. Okay, so she actually peed the bed. What did you do from that point? Okay. She took a bath, and I heard a fall, and I was like, what's going on? So she actually got into the bath? She did get in the bath. Okay, so she got she into the fell. bath. She fell inside the bathtub? Okay, so she was in the bath. Was she getting up to get out or to get she in? She didn't get back up. Okay. Well, she I mean, fell. when you send her to the bath, she goes in, she actually gets in the, the wet bathtub and starts to bathe? No, my daughter does. My daughter is difficult. Okay. She'll do it, but she's difficult. Like she doesn't okay. want to do. I told you she doesn't want to do stuff, but I make sure she bathes. Okay. And she didn't want to do it, but I I told her I was like, go ahead, you know, you got it, you can bathe. I left her. I went in the kitchen. I came back because I heard of her fall, and when I came back, my baby was in the water. Okay. Okay. So. So I don't know if she was still half asleep. Because, you know, a normal parent will just wake their child up and their the child's going to go do what they're supposed to do. But I don't know if my child was still, like, half asleep with mm -hmm. me putting her in. So if it's through something in the morning, what child do you think will be up at that time? Right, right. Not many. So when you went back in, you saw her... Unconscious. She, she was unconscious in, in, in the tub, naked. And was she face down or face up? She was face down. Face down, okay. Um, and then you pulled her out of the tub. And once you got out of the tub, what she wasn't responsive. You wake up your boyfriend at that time, or was he? He was, he already, was already up. Okay. And I told him I was like, "Babe, please, God, we gotta get her back there." So they walked us through it. The paramedics walked us through it. They told us to breathe. He was already doing it, doing okay. it, but they walked us actually through it because we're still yeah, parents. True. We don't know none of this. True. So they walked us through and they told us what to do, and then y'all came. Okay. Well, not y'all, but the paramedics. No, I'm with you. Um, so. He was doing compressions. He was he was doing the press. Who was doing the breathing? Were you doing or was he? No, we both he, were doing that at the same time. Okay, you both. Were I doing used to. I was doing compressions, and mm -hmm. he was breathing he in. Was her. Breathing. Okay, so you're doing two two person CPR, and she she never came back responsive. Fire mm -hmm. rescue got there and, and they took her. her out. Okay, um, but they said that she was responding when they got her. Like when they got her in the car, they was like, "Well, we got her back to breathing." I'm like, "Okay, that's good. You know, I, I, that's all I want. I want my baby to breathe." But when we get to the hospital, I get a whole nother story. Okay. Um, the, when, just a couple questions. When I go in to see her, she's got some bruises on her eyes. Is that, have that, those been there? Um, 
What do you mean? She's got she's got two bruises on her eyes that are up here, and then she's got a knot on her. The knot is when she fell. The the knot's when she fell in the in the tub. Oh, in the tub. Okay, so that wasn't there before she got in the bathtub. No. What about the the marks on her eyes, the black eyes? And they're not black eyes like you and I would think black eyes shut, but they're just marks up at the top. What could those be from? Hitting the wall. Nine out of ten hitting the wall. She does that. She, she'll like head by the wall or what? No. Um, when we wake her up, just to use the bathroom. Normally we'll wake her up to use the bathroom. She'll hit the wall. She'll like fall into the wall? Yes. Okay. Is she, does she cry or? No. My daughter doesn't cry. She's not okay. a crier. Okay. So she just. Hey, sit and go use the bathroom. She'll hit the head and go, go use the bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Have, have you ever. Um, I don't have no. You got anything you need to follow up on real quick? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go back to some of the history. I'm trying not to interrupt you guys when you're talking, but just a couple little things. <clears throat> you said you worked last night. You worked the night shift. You came home a little early because you weren't feeling good. Do you remember what time about you got home? No. What time did you leave your job? Early. Because. What time does your shift normally end? I, I, love, I was supposed to leave at 4 in the morning. So you're supposed to leave at 4 in the morning, and you don't, do you know how early, like one hour early, two hours early? I just know it was early. I never, I don't look at this time okay. when I leave. Okay. And you said you gave her some medicine because uh, she wasn't feeling good. Um, what type of medicine did you give her? It's an orange bottle. Like, it's like a flu bottle medicine that the doctors prescribed them. Mm -hmm. And I gave that to her because it has her name on it. Okay, so and what, I have the prescription myself. medicine the doctor gave. When is the last time she went to the doctor? It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. She hasn't been. The last time she got it was when she got her shots for school. And when was that? In the beginning of the year. So before the school year, right before school year, got shots at the doctor. What's that doctor's name? Do you remember? No, because they keep switching her doctor. Like you know where you take her? The office? Where's that at? We have one on Normandy and we have one on the south side. So if she's you with, go to the one on Normandy or I go to both. Okay. Like if I'm on the south side, I'll take her to the south side one. Or if she were on or if we're on the west side, I'll take her to Normandy. Okay, so you go both. You said it before school, but she she doesn't go to school, right? Mm -hmm. So she was she got shots in anticipation for next year of going to school. No, she got them for her to go to school. VBK was full. She was going to go to the same school as her mm -hmm. sister. Got it. Okay. okay. Um, and then the hospital reported what they thought was some abuse that got cleared up later, it sounds like. What doctor or what hospital or doctor was that, if you remember? Baptist? Uh, no, it was Shans. Shans down here? Downtown? <clears throat> okay. Um, what else did I have? Oh, she had a broken arm when she was four, is that right? Where did she get treated for that? Shans. Shans as well? couple of more. Let me find them. Um, this guy, I just want to walk through from my side because I was just listening to you guys talk about what happened last night. So at three o'clock you were still awake because you're normally awake at that time. You don't sleep. I work midnight before too in the same way. Um, so you're in your bed. You're on your phone. You decide to go check on her. You go to check on her. She peed on the couch. And so she was sleeping on the couch. And so she wasn't in her room. No, she don't normally sleep at home. Okay, so she likes to sleep on the couch. And you could just see it on the couch. You could see like yes, it, it, it was wet. I touched her and it was wet. Okay. So at that point, you're like, hey, wake up. You need to go clean yourself up. I, did you clean the couch up? No. Okay. So you just took care of her first, which is, you know, what most moms will do. So um, you told her to go get in the shower. Did you see her get in the shower? Not necessarily. You just told her to go. Yeah. She went and closed the door and you heard it come on. So did you hear the actual shower part come on? Or is it a tub? Like she turned on the bottom part. My daughter knows how to turn on the tub. She don't know how to do the shower. Well, so she did the tub. She don't know how to do the shower. Right. So she did take the tub part. So she turned on the tub and she sit in the bath. Normally, yeah, normally she'll do that. So she'll sit in the tub. So that was my next question. But she so didn't was, do that this time. Okay. What did she do she this time? She just stood there. And then I heard a fall. So 9 and 10 probably she was dizzy because I woke her up. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. She probably was dizzy. And I woke her up. But I didn't expect my child to fall and end up in right. the water. Obviously, you didn't, um, and, and no parent would would think that in this in this circumstance. But my next question was, 
it sounds like it is a tub with a shower built in as well. It's not it one or the other. Okay, so she did she go in and close the door by herself? Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to understand how you knew she was standing if she didn't normally do that. Yes. So just help me understand that part. I opened the door. Okay. And you should see her standing? Yes. Did you ask her why she was standing and not doing what she normally does? Or you just let her no, do what I, she... No, I normally just let her. Or okay. I'll just be like, come on, baby, just take a bath. You know, just you got to go to bed. It's 3 something in the morning. We got to go to sleep. I got to get up in the morning. Your sister got to get up in the morning. Okay. But so... she wasn't, it wasn't like she just automatically just didn't care what mom said. She doesn't listen to me. Most of the time. I understand that. And I know how girls can be, especially when they get to a certain age. She's stubborn, but I love her to death. Okay. I do. Did she take her clothes off by the couch, or did she take her clothes off by the shower, or do you remember? She didn't have any clothes. She didn't sleep in any clothes? No. I made sure she took her clothes off before she got in the shower. Do you know if she left them in the living room or in the bathroom? In the living room. Okay. So what was she wearing? Um... Like what was she sleeping in? I guess she wears sleeps in a long t-shirt, a nightie, what kind of? A night pants and a long white t-shirt with a colorful sh um, design on the front of it. Like a design on the front of a white long sleeve t-shirt and what kind of pants? It was colorful, like um, pink and purple. Pink and purple, long pants? Mm hmm Okay. So you wake her up, you're like, hey, you look, she leaves her clothes there, she goes gets in the shower. Um, you see her standing there at some point. And she's standing up with the shower going? No. So she had the tub going only, but she was standing for some reason. Was she being stubborn then? Yes. Because she didn't want to get, she didn't want to have to take a shower. No. Because it's um, three something in the who wants to take a shower. Okay, so she's standing there. And so she's standing with the, sh the tub part on in the tub, but she's standing in it like a regular tub. Okay, I got a little better understanding of what you're saying now. Um, and then you leave her and go do whatever you want or whatever's, whatever's going on in the house you're taking care of. And how long from the last time you saw her was it that you heard the fall? Well, less than 15 minutes. Like less than 15 minutes. So she's in there. You just think she's cleaning up like she's supposed to. And you go away and then you hear it. You go back in and she's face down. Yes, sir. Can you describe how she's laying? Is there is she all the way in the tub? Is part of her out of the tub? No, she's all the way in the tub. And then is her head facing the faucet, away from the faucet? She was facing the faucet. So her head was closest to the faucet face down. Um, and you pulled her out, and y'all did CPR, and you yes. called rescue. Did you guys put clothes on her before rescue got there? No, they just took her. They took her the way she was without any clothes on? Yes, okay. but we had brought the clothes. Um, they told us they had clothes for her. So they, the rescue said, hey, bring clothes to the hospital so she can get dressed there? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, and I know we went through a couple of injuries. Yes. Um, are there any injuries she currently has that you know of besides what we've already talked about? I know she has the knot on her head, which we mentioned, the eye bruises. Is there anything else she currently has that you've seen? So she hasn't had any other injuries other than, we've talked a little bit about her running and flop. She kind of does a flop, I call it, on the ground when a kid mm -hmm. just wants to kind of show out because they don't want to do whatever it is you're wanting to do. Yes, sir. Um, does she normally get injuries you can see when she does those flops? Yeah, normally she'll either get a knot on her head or, um, that's about it. Any injuries on her legs or No, when she falls, or? yeah, like she'll, she'll scrape herself and right here. Okay, she'll scrape her, I'm you sorry. Your knees? Yeah, she'll okay. scrape her knees or she'll scrape her arm. So fall injuries, which, you know, we're all pretty familiar with those. When we fall, when you fall, you hit your knees or your elbows because you're reacting. Her hip one. Um, she does have bruises on. She did have bruises on her hip. What's that from? She fell at my brother's my brother-in-law's house on the tree trunk. What's his name? Stephen. Harmon. Stephen S T E P P H V. S T E V E N. And I'm Harman. sorry, Harmon H A R M O N. Mm -hmm. He's a senior too. He's also a senior. Where's he live? Twenty two oh two, Burby Drive. How do you spell Burby? B U R P E E. Is that in Jacksonville? Mm hmm. Okay. It's the house. And when did that happen? During hurricane. The hurricane season. Um, I forgot which hurricane came. It, I don't know if it was a hurricane or a tropical storm, but it came last year. And she got a bruise. That bruise on her hips from last year? Yes. So it's not, that wouldn't be apparent now. No. Oh, okay. You're just talking about like old bruises. Okay. So make sure we're on the same page. Yes, sir. Does she bruise pretty easily? Yes. 
<clears throat> She's not like my other daughter where her inner bruise, you know, a hair will get her in it that will literally stay on her. Okay. I think that's all I got for now. I'm sure the minute I walk out of this room, I'll think of something. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all I have for the moment. Unless they generated anything else for you. No. No, not yet. Okay. All right, so give, give us a couple minutes. We're going to talk to your boyfriend real quick, and then um, we'll wrap this up, okay? Are you good? Do you need anything? Um, I didn't get your water, but... I am a diabetic. Okay, so what kind of... Is there use of snacks? Yeah. I'll try to see if I can find some granola bars or something. Is that good? Yeah. Something with some sugar in it, I'm guessing? Okay. Did you, did you not like that, or you did not need it? No, I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Is there anything we can do to make you feel better? Anything you need from us? Okay. Okay. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions to follow up on what we were just talking about? Okay. Uh, we just went outside to talk, and we we're just like, hey, let's clarify a couple things. Things we forgot to ask, basically. Um, which arm was broken on her when she was four? I'm sorry? She, uh, when she was four, she broke her arm. I know that. Which arm was it? The right, left or the right? This one. I can't see. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have to take it out. You can say, is that your left arm, it looks like? All right. And she obviously uh, used the bathroom on the couch last night. Is that something that happens a lot with her? How often does she do that? I don't know because she's been doing it lately. So lately, and when you say lately, do you mean like last month, the last week, last six months? No, almost every day she beat on herself. For how long? Like the last week? Or for, has it been two weeks when she no, started? She started when she left daycare. Okay, so after she left daycare, um, she started peeing in the bed pretty much every night. And it, so you've been regularly, did you wake her up last night to we clean herself up? We, we regularly wake up. Well, like on the time schedule, I'll make sure she uses the restroom so she doesn't pee on herself. So. Okay, so you try to get up before she does, but if you don't wake her up, she'll she essentially do. go to the bathroom. So how many times has she actually used the bathroom? Like, so this is used the last week, for instance. How many times did you, did you not wake her up in time, or was she not able to wake up in time? i say about three days. So about three of the last days of the week she uses the bathroom? All right. Um, what else? You said her daycare. What's the name of her daycare? That she was in a month ago. It's on San Juan. Okay. I just, I do not remember the name, but I know. I know, it's they San usually have, sometimes they have funky little names. You know the corner street it was at? San Juan. Yeah, but you know, like San another Juan. road it was close to, so I could figure it out. Crabby Beans? Have you heard of Crabby Beans before? What, say it again? Crabby Beans. Crabby Beans? Mm -hmm. You heard of them before? Mm -hmm. It's like a restaurant. Um, oh, okay. Next to uh, Chevron gas station, they're across the street from there. Near Krabby Beans, is it good? Mm -hmm. Y'all go there. Is it near Jamie's or is it down near Blanding and? No, it, it's <clears throat> before you get to Jamie's. Okay. So it's in between Jamie and Lane. In between Jamie's and San Juan. And she said she stopped going to daycare a month ago. This place. How come she stop going to that daycare? I wasn't getting up on time. Okay, so it's just hard to get her there with your schedule and work and working midnights and all that. I can certainly understand that. But nothing happened there that you were concerned about. No. Okay. And where was your other child? Was she sleeping in her room? Okay. Did she get up at any point? No. Not until we woke her up and told her to come home. So, because you guys were getting ready to go to the hospital. Was that after, after rescue left and everything? Okay, so she's a pretty hard sleeper? Yes, she is. <laughs> I am too. Good luck waking me up. <laughs> um, let's see, what else did I have? There was... You said she was using the tub. Did she put the stopper in the tub to like let the water come up? It stops up by the tub. So it's just kind of like messed up a little bit? So whether you put the plug down or not, it's going to retain water? Yes, with both, um, the, with both of our tubs. Both bathrooms. Can you see? Could you see how much water was in there? Do you notice? Can uh, approximate how much water was in the tub when you went in to get her out? I was focused on getting her out of the tub. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Okay. Um, so you're just not. Was it enough that her head was down? 
like floating in it, do you think? Or was her face touching the bottom of the tub? Yes. Or which one? To where, like, she was like this. So it was covering, like, right here. Okay. I got you. Okay. How long you been with a boyfriend? Almost a year now. Everything going good with you guys? Yes. Who all disciplines your children? Is it just you, or do you and your boyfriend share that responsibility? He doesn't do it like that at all. He never disciplines your children? He doesn't feel like it's right for him to do that. Okay. And a lot of people feel like that one because it's not his biological children, right? So you're biological mom, so you take that responsibility yourself. Does anyone else discipline the children besides Their you? Their daddy. Their actual, actual daddy. Okay, the biological dad. But he hasn't been around for a little while. Okay. Um, how did he discipline her? What do you mean? Do you know if he ever... Do you, do you feel like he appropriately disciplined her when he did? The buy of that. Like I say, my kids move around when they get it. Like when we whoop them. Mm -hmm. So they're getting hit. Okay. Do you, I, I guess... So do you feel like what he was doing was okay? I think discipline the child is okay with me. Yeah, of course it is. State law allows it, right? So you're, you can certainly appropriately discipline a child. I'm just curious, as mom, because sometimes mom, especially when you're not with the dad anymore, sometimes he may do something you don't like. So I'm just trying to get a feel whether if there was anything he did you didn't like or if, you know, if he did anything excessive and you don't think he did anything like that. Okay. Not that I can remember from the back of my head. I got you. Alright. I think this is one of the last things I have. So you were in your room. You got up checked on her. You got her in the shower. Or you got her in the tub and she's standing in it. Yes, sir. You walk away. About 15 minutes later you hear a thud. Where were you standing when you heard her? I was walking back to my room. So you were walking to your room and you heard a thud. Did you immediately turn around and go back at that point? I immediately went to go see what was going on. Okay, door. so it, how long did it take you to walk to her? Not a couple long. seconds? A minute? What do you think? Not that long. But it was immediate in your mind? Yes, It was sir. like you turned right around as soon as you heard the thud? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and I know we talked a little bit about, and I'm kind of, I'm jumping around a little bit, so forgive me. Um, we talked a little bit about whenever you were concerned about abuse by um, by them, and she was touching herself. Did she say why she was touching herself? Like, did you say, "Hey, baby, why are you touching yourself?" And where was she touching herself? In her so she was touching herself in her like her, her vagina area. And did you say? Did I say, "Did Daddy touch?" Like, I would point to because my children know bad touch and good touch. Okay, good. So I would like show her on my body because mm -hmm. I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. I would show her on my body. Hey, did anybody touch you in these areas? Mm -hmm. She'd say no. Okay. And did you did you ask her why she was touching herself then? I would ask her, but she do not tell me. So she just wouldn't give you an answer, kind of like some kids do? Okay. So she never told you about that? No, but her and her daddy have a really close bond. Yeah? All right, tell me a little bit about that. Like, they love, <clears throat> like, he loves his daughter. He'll do anything for his kids. Yeah. Okay. But has there something been off for the last four months when he hasn't been around? We yeah, have been on communication terms. Okay, so it's, it's mostly a communication problem between you two, mm -hmm. not so much his relationship problem with his daughter. No. Okay. I may have missed it. You may have asked it, and I didn't hear it. Uh, where was your boyfriend at when this was mm -hmm. when this was happening? In the living room. In the living room. Okay. And she and your daughter was in the living room asleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. He was in the living room. You came out. You checked on her, um, and then when she then went into the shower, when she fell, was he, he ran. Was he still in the living room? No, he ran. He ran. Okay, but I mean, you hollered. Yes. So he heard the fall as well. Okay. So it was, it was loud enough to disturb both of you. You immediately both knew something was wrong. Yes, sir. Um, and we both tried to resuscitate her. Okay. And you said, I didn't realize, there's two bathrooms? There is. Which bathroom 
this is the correct my, bathroom. Which is, uh, like, is there a different color tub? How would I know if I went in there and looked? My bathroom, in my room. It's in right. the ma like a master bathroom? Okay. Okay, so it's inside the master bathroom. I mean the master bedroom. The difference between the bathrooms, the kids' bathroom have a flower curtain. Okay. My bathroom have, it's a flower curtain, but it's blue. Okay, so you and have a blue flower curtain. That's the one we're looking at, essentially. Yes, sir. Okay. I think that's all I have. I feel like there was one other thing I wanted to ask, but I can't remember what it was. Um, real quick, just so, just so you know, while we're asking so many questions and what we're looking into, um, based on the examination of uh, of your daughter and you know the things that I saw myself, we feel like there's something else is going on besides this fall. Okay, she's got some extensive injuries that we need to figure out what happened and where they happened. Um, to get a better understanding. This isn't something that just happened tonight, okay? So we need, to, we need to get to the bottom of that. Now, if somebody did cause, you know, excessive injury to your daughter, what do you think should happen to them? What do you mean? What do you th how do you think that they should be punished if somebody had been, been hurting your daughter? I don't get it. Do you think someone should be punished for what happened to your daughter if they did it intentionally? Yeah. What do you think should happen to them? What kind of punishment should they get? You think they should go to jail? Listen, sweetheart, we know that accidents happen. We know things occur and things go on. Um, but the medical evidence is going to show us exactly what happened. And it's going to tell us what happened. Um, we work very closely with the state attorney. And state attorneys here with us today, you know, watch everything that goes on because it's, it's horrible that we're trying to figure out. But we need, we need to know exactly what, what went on and what's been going on because this She's got some, some injuries that are old, that have been there for a while. If things have gotten out of hand in the house, we need to know. With discipline and, and mistakes are made, and something happened today, this morning, that she got unruly or something and things got out of hand, we need to know that. So we can share that with the, with the state attorney and talk to her about it before the medical evidence shows exactly what happened. Okay? So is everything you've told us so far what happened. Yes. That's exactly what happened. There's nothing else that you need to share with us or tell us about. No. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to step outside. We're going to talk to your boyfriend real quick. Uh, and then we'll, we'll come back and talk to you, okay? All right. And if <clears throat> you're still feeling sick, if you need something different, you let us know or, or anything along that line. You just knock on that door, okay? We'll send somebody in. Okay. Hello. We're back. Thank you, Dark. I know it's been a while. How you doing? You need anything? You need your. Do you not like those? You don't. You want something different? No. Okay. Right. Are you awake? Okay. Um, before we were talking, just because it's been a little while since since we were in here. I know rights. Huh? I know you know your rights. Okay. I just want to make sure that. That you're you're aware of them and you remember them and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Hey, listen. We went we went and talked to a couple of people and we got a little bit of under, better understanding of what's going on, and what's happening. Okay. So we understand a lot more. All right. So the things that we talked about before, I just want to I just want to scratch those. Okay. Just take take those off the plate and we'll just pretend like we hadn't talked before. Okay. So I just want to get a better understanding. Of your side, okay, of what happened and what you saw and what things went on, all right. Um, but with that, with that being said, I want to get. Uh, I got to talk to your daughter, um, little sweetheart. I want to. I want to know more about her, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. She. You said she goes to school, right? Mm -hmm. um, she. Is she a smart kid? Yeah, she's really smart. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Mm -hmm. um, now, what? What do the teachers say about her? She's a pretty good student. 
Behave yourself. She should have um only thing that she um only thing about my daughter is like she'll just not tell me the truth about her grades, but other than that she's really, really good. Okay. So she'll she'll tell you stories about her grades or how well she's doing or what have you? Yes. Sir. What what other what other stuff does she lie about? She lie about anything else? Tell any stories about anything else? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Um, does she I know that you said that she she behaves fairly well. She's not the, the one you've got to redirect or what have you. You tell her to do something once, and a lot of times she'll she'll do it. So yeah. she, she's well behaved. I don't have to repeat myself. And you do. You don't have to repeat I yourself. Don't. Um, but that's not not the way. You got to repeat yourself with your youngest daughter, correct? Okay. Um, this one. Okay. Well, she she told us some things that, that are concerning to us. Okay. She shared some things with us, and, and that's what we want to uh, that's what we want to get a better understanding about, and we want to get get your side and figure out exactly what what happened with with everything, including Jonte. Um, and I want you to think about your kids. Okay, when you talk to me, don't try to protect anybody. Protect your kids. Okay. We we know doing this investigation. You've been here a long time, and I know you've been here a long time. Uh, we've got to talk to doctors. We've got to talk to nurses. Uh, we've talked to individuals that uh, are professionals in interviewing with children to get. Uh, to get a better understanding of what they say, we've got to look at pictures, medical exams, medical records, past history of people, all that stuff, okay? So the investigation's been done, all right? We know what happened. We know where it happened. We know when it happened, okay? We know, to a certain extent, how it happened. We just don't know the why. And I don't know the why you're covering for people, okay? And I think that I've kind of figured it out and that's why I wanted to wash everything away. I think you may be a little bit scared. I think you may be scared of something that could happen to you or happen to your other other, other children. Okay. And that and that's what I, that's what I want to get a better understanding of. Okay. So is, is Jonte violent in the house? Has he ever hit you? Yes. He has? Okay. And that and that's what we figured out. Alright? Is he violent all the time or is it just he'll become enraged from time to time? When's the last time that you know of that that he became enraged and and hit you? Yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. Was it yesterday evening before dinner? Was it in the afternoon? In the afternoon, where did he hit you at? In the face. In the face? Just punched you? No, he slapped me. Slapped you? Why did he slap you? Because he said I was doing something dumb. He said that you were doing something to him? No, something dumb. That you were doing something dumb. Okay. <clears throat> and then the, the time before that, when did he hit you at? He doesn't hit me that often. He doesn't hit you very often, but he does hit you. He's got a little bit of a, a violent past, a violent issue. And you, you, you said you had some history with somebody that was abusive to you, right? My baby daddy. Your baby daddy was abusive to you. Yeah, my daughter's father. Your daughter's father, okay. Okay. Um, so since you've been with, with John Taney, he's moved in the house, he hits you, but not hits you all the time, okay? So that that's what makes me understand a little bit more about why you're kind of looking over some things that he's doing. Now let me ask you a tougher question, okay? Okay. Does he hit your children? Yes. He does. Does he hit both of them? Um, but your younger daughter, she doesn't listen. No. So he hits her? Yes. How often does he hit her? A lot. A lot. That's what we. That's what we found out. So, 
with, with that being said, I want, I want to get some clarification um, on some things about where y'all live. Y'all y'all live there together. Y'all have lived there. He, how long ago did he move in there? In June. In June. The beginning of June. Okay, so the beginning of June he because moved in. Because I was protecting him. Because what? I was protecting him. He what? got kicked out from his mom's house. He okay. had nowhere else to go. Okay, so why did he get kicked out from his mom's house? Um, him and his sister, I think, got into it. Got into his, an argument? Yeah, his mom said he had to go. Okay. So he moved in your house. Does it, during, from June until now, has anybody else lived with y'all? My, my sister. Your sister? When did she move in? She moved in right after him. Right after him? And then when did she move back out? She she didn't stay long. She ended up leaving. So she was there for about a month or so? Okay. Um, she was pregnant. So let, let's... Let's look at today. Last week, did anybody else live with y'all? Mm -hmm. Did you and John take go anywhere and leave anybody as a babysitter with mm -hmm. your children? So it was just you, John Tate, and your two girls, right? Did did your mom come over and, and hang out? Did she come by often? She didn't come by? My mom would come when she um, when I sold my stamps. Okay. How how often is that? Not often I don't talk to my mom about that. Okay, you don't talk to your mom, but your mom was your mom was at the hospital today, right? Yes. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. We 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 just not got a close up on it. Okay, so when's when's the last time she's when she, when's the last time your mother has stayed with the with the girls alone? She never. Stayed she there. never has. No. Okay. okay. Um, has if, she, if she has, they went to her. They, she never came to my house. Okay, so when's the last time they went to her house and stayed with her? That. Three. She was three, so it was three, almost three years between ago. Between three or four, yeah. Okay. Um, what about over the last, say, two weeks? Has anybody stayed with the girls overnight with y'all? No. So it's been just you, Jante, and the two girls, okay? Can you remember the last time that you left the girls alone with somebody at your house? Have you ever? Jante. Huh? I only leave them with Jante. Only leave with Jante, okay. Um, does Jante ever leave while you're at work and you leave the girls there with anybody? No. No? Okay. <clears throat> so it's basically you four and that's it. There's nobody that comes over, nobody visits, nobody... His friends used to visit, but they don't visit anymore. How long ago did they visit, you think? Was that the beginning when he first started living there? In the beginning they used to come. His name was Joel, but he don't come no more. He don't come around no more. When's the last time he was there? A month ago. About a month ago? Okay. Okay. They don't get along. So... I think, I think we're on the right track, but I want to know, last night, you said that you said that Jante hits, hits her pretty often, and that's because she doesn't listen. She's, she's a little bit a little bit hard-headed or stubborn. I um, feel like she don't respect me. She doesn't respect him. Okay, so how, if you were had to say a day time frame, how, in one day, how many times is he hitting her? A lot. Yeah. But he's pretty violent with her. Because she does, he says she doesn't listen. Okay. He was trying to fix it. What What's some of the things that? And I'm I'm hard of hearing, so you can just speak up just a little bit. And you can lay down if you need to. I'm fine with that. If you can just speak up a little bit, because I don't so hear I very well. I really don't feel good. I'm sure you don't. Do you, can I get you anything that would make you feel better? Mm. Okay. Um. <clears throat> the. So he'll he'll hit her a lot because she won't follow directions and he doesn't respect her. When he hits her, how, how does he hit her? Does he slap her like he slapped you? Have you ever seen him take a closed fist and like you would punch a man and punch her? You have seen him do that? Okay, so let, let's, let's go into last night, all right? Let's get some more clarification on what happened last night. Um, he, he, he normally would do it when she doesn't listen to when she pee on herself or like, but lately I, I tried to stop him from doing it, and he promised me he wouldn't do it no more. Okay, so what happened last night? I went to work, like I told y'all. What time did you go? My normal, well, I know I took the late bus because I wanted to make sure my daughter was to leave. Okay. But. You you want to take the late bus, why? Because I, I always I always to leave. That's okay. just how I, how I, like I told y'all, when it comes to them. Uh -huh. Okay. Was she was she not feeling well, or why did you feel like you needed to go in late? Was was she having a hard time? She wasn't waking up. She wasn't waking up. 
she had already had she had already had bruises on her. She was healing from the bruises. And I was gonna take her to her daddy. Cause I told my mom. I said, Mama I wanna save my baby. I wanna take her to her daddy. That's where she wanna go. Okay. So what what you said she already had bruises that she was healing up. What were they bruises from that day? They're Pre bruises from before. Previous days. Okay, so but but last night you said you want to check on her because she wasn't waking up. What do you mean by she wasn't waking up? Just be honest with me, okay? You want to figure this out? I don't want to lose my baby. Well, I need you to be honest with me, okay? That's a, that's a key part of this process is you telling the truth and telling me what's happening and what's going on, okay? Okay. He didn't start hitting. He didn't start hitting her until I was like, I gave him permission to discipline her. He started disciplining her first. He was letting me do it, and I don't hit them hard. I don't. Right. I'm a mother that don't hit children hard. Okay. And the way of his discipline was a lot different from mine. Okay. And what do you, what do you mean by that? I don't hit my children in the face. I hit them on the booty. Okay. You spank him on the behind. Okay. <clears throat> and he hits him in the face. He, 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 he never hit him. Okay. If he did, he'll probably just slap her, but that's about it. Okay. But, like I say, I don't have a problem with my old stuff. It should get right. Okay. So, last night, when did, when did it all start? When, when did the issues happen? And we were talking. He was talking to me about her. Like it was in the afternoon. He was talking to me about her, and I was like, because I kept asking, I was like, do, do you hear her? He said, no, I didn't hear her. I didn't hear her. He was like, I just put in the room. I said, okay. I went in the room. She was, you know, she still had the bruises on her face. Like she, her face was swollen to me. It, okay. Like they really swollen. Was it like the side of her face, her eyes? Or? No, she had. Me. A bump on the middle of her head. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, where's it coming from? I was like, why she looks swollen? Her face just looked as swollen to me. I didn't think that was right to me. And he was like, um, I didn't do nothing to her. And I was like, okay. And then I was it's like, this just didn't sit well with me. Because it's like my baby face was swelling up more. Okay. When, when did he, were you asleep or gone when, at this time when he hit her, or where, where were you at when this? When, when John T hit her, I'm, I'm normally in the house, but he doesn't want me around. So he wants to discipline her by himself. Okay. So when she got the knot in the middle of her head, where, where were you when that, when, when that happened, when you hit her? We were in the living room. Okay. And where was Don, Dante and your daughter? In the living room behind the oh, Okay, so you were all in the living room. So you saw him, him hit her? Did I was he, telling him to stop. Did, did he hit her with an open hand or did he punch her with a closed fist? He, he, he would hit her with like, like this. Okay. So yeah. Maybe okay. like this. Or if she doesn't cooperate, he'll end up punching her. He'll punch her with a closed fist. Is that what happened? Did he punch her? Is that what caused the, the lump in the head? Because I know a slap, you know, it ain't going to cause that. I have no idea. Okay. I swear I don't. Okay. How many times do you think he hit her behind the couch right there? A lot. He hit her a lot. More than, more than five? More than ten? Was he just hitting and wouldn't stop? <clears throat> did you tell him to stop? What did he say? Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Before I hit you. And what? Shut up before I hit you. Okay. Is that before or after he hit you yesterday? Yes. Which one? Was it before he, he hit you? He, he hit me yesterday. He was in the afternoon. Okay. Before I had to cook dinner. Okay. And then? She was, she had already had bruises on her. She was swelling up. So before, 
so just so I get the information right, he hit her first several times. You told him to stop. He said, shut up before I hit you. Later in the day, he hit you, and then that because evening you cooked dinner. He said I was like, I'm done. Okay. Um, what time y'all cook dinner? 6.45. 6.45? Or sometimes 5. Okay, sometime between 5. So sometime between 5 and 6.45. Okay. So. But I ended up cooking. I ended up cooking it late because I, I was not, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling well. Okay. Like okay. something just didn't sit right with me. Okay. So after he hit her behind the couch, what was her demeanor? What, how was she acting? She didn't move. She didn't move? Was she like knocked out? So he hit her to because a point where she's behind the couch and she's not moving? Because he you know, when, when we, I cleaned her up, I took her back when I took myself a bath in the afternoon. When it got to nighttime, he, I don't know what had happened. I just know I was in the kitchen. And he was like, she got to go, she got to go. Because he had a conversation with his baby mama about a situation that the kids was like, my daughter was humping them. Okay. But my daughter doesn't do that. Was humping his kids? Don't teach him. Like, not humping, humping, like, just behind him. Yeah, okay. And she was having a conversation about it. Um, also, she had a conversation about the fact that I pissed that mom. Her okay. kids' photos. Okay. And that day, he was like, she gotta go, she gotta go. And he had um, told her about that. I said, why aren't you put her outside? And she gotta go. I said, no, she don't. I said, leave her alone. She don't have to go. That's my baby. I, probably, I told her to come back in the house. And she was gonna, she walked off. Like, she literally walked off the porch. And okay. I said, Gary, come back in the house. And as soon as she came back in the house, he grabbed her. Is that when he started hitting her? Okay. <clears throat> so he hit her and that was behind the couch and that's when she was knocked out. basically got knocked out. She went to sleep. Okay. She wouldn't get back up. So she wouldn't get back. And th this is before or after dinner? This is before dinner. Before dinner. Before I finished it. Okay. And she wouldn't get back up. He okay. kept trying to get her back up but she wouldn't get back up. Were her eyes open or were her eyes closed? They were closed. Okay. So she was making noises though. What kind of noises? Mm. Okay. So like she was in pain or like, okay. And she didn't get up. She just wouldn't wake back up. And then what did you, what did you do? She was, I, I don't know if she was okay or nothing, but I just know I ended up fixing dinner for them. She still won't get up. Was she just laying on the floor or did you put her on the couch? What did you do with her? We put her on. At first, he, uh, she was on the floor. He poured water on her to see if she would get up. But she wouldn't get up. He tried okay. to wake her up. She wouldn't get up. So then, um, but she was still breathing up. She, she breathing, okay. She was still breathing. She okay. Was, she was still breathing. And then, um, he laid her on the sofa. She was on the sofa when I left. And I went to work. I went to work late. Because at first, I wasn't going to go. I didn't feel right. I just didn't want to go. Okay. And then I ended up going, but I ended up going late. So what time? What time was that that you left for work? My bus came at ten. Your bus comes at ten, but you said you you went to the late bus, or that was that the bus you rode was the one at ten. You rode the one at ten. Okay. So it was before dinner at six thirty when this all happened. Then you made some dinner, and then you went to work at ten. Okay. So you went to work. Then but what? I wasn't going to go. Right. I wasn't. I was going to stay. Okay. But I kept asking him. I said, what you want me to do? Do you want me to go? Do you want me to stay? He said, I don't care what you do. You care if you go. I don't care if you stay. Okay. Where was your Where was your youngest daughter? Where was she at during this? On the couch. She was on the couch. So she saw everything that happened. Um, saw him hit her. Okay. Um. So after you after you went to work, what happened? I didn't stay long. I didn't stay long. I left. Okay. What time do you think you got home? Twelveish. Twelveish. Does the bus run that late? You... I didn't ride a bus. How'd you get home? 
My coworker's son. Okay. <clears throat> coworker came, picked you up, brought you back home. No, my coworker's son. He came. To oh, get, son. I'm sorry. He came to get the gas. Okay. And I was like, I don't feel right because I had got a text message because he was going to leave. And I thought he would leave them by himself. Okay. But, so he texted you and said, hey, I'm leaving? Because he didn't feel comfortable anymore. He was like, it's getting critical. Okay. Okay. And so she, I left. I said, I got to go. I said, I don't, I don't know if my kids are by themselves, but I got to go. And it was around 12. Okay. Before that, were y'all texting back and forth about anything? I didn't talk to him. You didn't talk to when him? I didn't call work, him? When I went to work, I didn't talk to him. I got on the bus and I left. Okay. Um, so you get home at 1230. What what happens? What do you find? He was still, she was still on the sofa? Where was he at? He was in the kitchen. He was in the kitchen, okay. When I went in the house. Okay. I was just talking to his mom. Okay. I had called her before. I had called her when I was at work. And I was like, because she was asking, am I going to help her with her lights? And I was like, yeah, i help you. Because she requested the cash out. Okay. Me and I was like, well, I can't cash out you. But I'll, you know, I'll take the money off my card and I'll give it to you. And I gave it to her when she came to the hospital, but I was already going to give it to her. Okay. She was just supposed to come over in the morning to okay. come get it after she dropped the kids off the school, after his kids off the school. <clears throat> Did you talk to her about what had happened in the house? I told her some things that I wanted to tell her, but she wouldn't understand. What do you mean? I was going to tell her about her son. Okay. But she knew she knew he spanked, spanked, but she didn't know the concept of it. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't understand how. She didn't know how he spanked her. He just, she just thought he spanked her. Okay. Okay. So did you did you share that with her? Or you didn't. You did. What did she say? She was like, he's not supposed to spank her. So she thought that she she thought he wasn't supposed to spank her at all. No, that she, that I was supposed to discipline the girls now because they were my children. Okay. Okay. Um. So you so you talk to her a little bit and then you end up back at the house at twelve thirty. He's in the kitchen. He's on the phone with his mom at that time. He was talking to me. Okay. And because I was like, why are you leaving? And he was like, it's, it's not. I was like, are you leaving because of my baby? He was like, no, it's not because of the baby. I said, well, why are you leaving? And he was like, it's me. Maybe yeah, because of me. I said, no, tell the truth. And when I was like, no, tell the truth, I opened the door and he saw me. He was like, why are you here? And it's like, I just got up early. I said, I told you it was too easy. Okay. Okay. Um, where's... You're still on the couch? Okay. Um, I went in the room. And into your room? Yeah. Okay. Because we didn't, we weren't back and we didn't exchange words. Okay. So y'all were still discussing him? No, yeah, we were still discussing him. I didn't want to say nothing to him. Okay. Because I went in the room and I got under his like this one. Uh -huh. I had no work clothes. And then where was that? She's in the room asleep. She's in the room asleep, okay. Um, do you have any idea to sleep? Right after I left. Right after you left, she went to sleep? Okay. She's he pretty good about it. He and she'll go to bed. Because he told her to go to bed. Was she, was, I mean, she... She looked like she wanted to cry. Yeah. She knew something was wrong. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then, at what point... So, I go get in the shower. She um, peed on the sofa. He told me she had peed on the sofa. Mm -hmm. He got her up because I was still in the bed. I was on the phone. I was texting. I was texting his mom. Like I was still talking to his mom. Mm -hmm. and I was texting her up on the phone. And I was texting one of my friends. Well, they're not a friend. They're like a court. They're a um, customer. Okay. And I was texting him. And I heard her. She was like, oh my God, I walked. She was, she was up, but she wasn't up. 
think she was she wasn't walking and she wasn't all by herself. But you can tell she was open, her eyes were open. She ended up opening up. But she ended up following. He was like, you gotta stop following me. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting yourself. And then I went in the bathroom, I was like, what do you do? He's like, get out of my face. And I ain't gonna get back in the room. said, get out of my face. I wanted to check Right. So I went in the room, I laid that down. And then he, he, he was like, come on, he used to talk to her. And they was walking in the hallway. And he was like, um, he's like, you want mommy? You want mommy? She was like, no, she didn't say that. She just played. Mm -hmm. So she was moment she never was really saying anything. So did you see her with her eyes open? Did she make eye contact with you? Did she close them back? She she kept going like this. But she was hurting. Did she actually get into the shower? No? Did she, did, did y'all take her clothes off? Or did she get transported with clothes on? She was already naked. She was what? She was already naked. She was already naked? So did she take her clothes off to get in the shower? How did she get naked? She was already naked because he told me she peed on herself. Okay, so he, he took her clothes off because she had peed on herself on the couch? And he was taking her naked to the shower to get her cleaned up. Okay, but she wasn't walking on her own. She was kind of tense, like she was hurting. He put her on me at first before she had me to She was laying on my chest. Okay. She was just, she responsive? I mean, was she, she wasn't there? She was holding her hand tightly when she was squeezing me. She was like, she was hurting. Okay. She was the one putting her eyes being open. Was she breathing? Okay. She was still breathing. But she just wasn't there. She was still knocked out. Okay. <clears throat> and then, at what point in time did you cut? Where? I guess you took her back to the the sofa area. She stayed in the bathroom, and that's where you called nine one one. She went in the bathroom. He went in the bathroom with her. He did. Okay. He was trying to wake her up. He was trying to wake her up with the water? Okay. She, her eyes were open. She was looking around. She was doing like this, doing like this, doing like this, doing like this. And she was in and out of consciousness. She, she was moving. Okay. And at what point did she stop breathing? When she turned the water off. Turn the water off. Was she actually in the tub at that time? Was she, she was face up though, she wasn't drowning? Okay. No, she was like this. She was face down. She was face down. But she wasn't drowning in the water. Right? Yeah. She was already. She was still doing like this. She was still conscious when I mean, she got out of the tub. I was like, is everything okay? And he was like, she's okay, she's okay, she's still breathing. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah, I was like, she's okay. But she was moving, I knew something was wrong. Yeah. So we started doing some CPR on her. And I was like, is my baby okay? She breathing, he was like, yeah, she breathing. I hear her heartbeat, she breathing. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah. I said, she's feeling cold. Like, I know how I felt when they were cold because I had mm -hmm. food that's my, my baby, Michaela. When I had to go to the hospital for her. And she had passed away, I, I knew how a baby that was gone felt like. Right, okay. So I was like, is she breathing? He was like, yeah. And he laid her down, she was moving. She wasn't breathing. And she was cold? Her eyes was closed. And I was like, What's going on? So I need to call another one. So I called them and they walked us through CPR. They was like, is she near anything? And I was like, no. Is she on her back? I said, yes. And they walked me through the CPR. Okay. And she was coming back.
the fire rescue scooped her up. Did he say anything? Mm. Chante. Did he did he apologize? Did he He was saying that's cool. Come on. Everybody is good. I woke up nine to nine and then we gotta go to the hospital. And the police officer is telling us where he was taking her. Because I told him about the medicine. She did have medicine though. She did have medicine. This was before dinner. Okay. She did have medicine. It was like a cough medicine? Or, okay. Then um, they told us where they were taking her. And he was like, do y'all have a car? He said, you know. So they took us. He was in one car and me and I was in the other. Okay. I called my mom and told my mom that I don't know it was my baby. And she was like, where are you going? And I told her. She said, okay, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Did your mama know that, that uh, Jonte was rough with you and with the, with the babies? She didn't know about me. He only, she only knew about you? She didn't know about me. Or she didn't know about you, but she knew that he was rough with the girls? Okay. Um, <clears throat> because I told her. We now, had a conversation with her mama. I don't know what else to do to her. Like, I want to just send it to her dad because that's where she wants to go. Yeah. Did she want to go there because of, of Jante? She said she didn't like him. I didn't like him. Um, and she told her daddy and her mom. Now, did, did Jante say, you know, keep your mouth shut, don't say anything? You know, don't tell them really what happened? What, what, what made it? How'd y'all come up with a story about the, the fall in the shower and all that? He did. He came up with it, told you what to say? And why'd you stay with it? I didn't want to get hurt. Okay. So you're worried that he was going to do something to you or to your other daughter? How, how long? We've been together. How long has he been? Is it ever since he moved in? No? When did it start? When was the first time? Yeah. No, it's outside. <clears throat> he moved in in June. Mm -hmm. My sister moved out in, in July. So I think but after my sister moved out, so you started hit, hitting her like 1st of August? And did it get progressively worse? I mean, was it just every once in a while and then? It was, <clears throat> it was every once in a while. Chris would look at her and he stop. And then she just continued to be defiant, didn't like him, and didn't respect him according to his words, and it got worse and worse and worse. And then, did he start out with just slapping her? Kind of like he would slap you? You know, was he just slapping her with an open hand and, and later it went worse and punched her all that? Did he do anything else? Did he ever, I don't know if either one of you smoked, did he ever burn her? Did he ever, no. ever hit her with, you know, cords or boards or sticks or anything? It was it always with his hands? He never had her in court or nothing. Just nothing. He just used his hands and his fist. How about bite her? He would bite her? Why would he bite her? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Where would he bite her? She had one, two of them on one of each arm. He bite her on the arms? And then he bit her on her butt. Bit her on the butt? Why did he bite her on the butt? Any idea? He was whipping her. He was whipping her and just decided he's going to bite her. Because like I told you, my daughter doesn't stay still. She moves around. Right. So because she's moving around and she's fighting, trying to get away, 
He figured the best way to hold her is to bite her. Did you ever ask him why, why how you bite her? And what did he say? Shut Just told you to shut up. How long ago was it when he bit her? I don't know how long, but I know it was probably a week or two. Okay. But it was healing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when we looked at some of the abrasions and things, the, her bleeding, her, her cuts and stuff, they looked like they were uh, well taken care of, like somebody had cleaned them. Are you cleaning her up after after he hurts her? You know, after like if he cuts her, drags her, scrapes her. Are you cleaning her up, or is she cleaning herself up? Um, you are. Because I, I told her I'm tired of doing it. And they told me to get this stuff up. You trying to make it better? I was trying to make it better. Okay. Because I didn't want to see my baby hurt me anymore. Because that's how I looked. Right. Why didn't you ever call police? Why didn't you have us come out there and snatch him up? I'm scared. You're scared? For me and my baby. For you and your babies? Okay. Detective Devereux? Mm -hmm. The running story you told us a while back, did y'all come up with that too? As to explain no, we that were. first? That's we, true. Okay. We still run. Did she really fall when y'all were running? Like and hit her head? She did. So that's a true story. That is honest? a true story. Okay. What's your sister's name? The one that was there? What's yeah. her last name? Okay. Did I ever complain to you? Obviously you saw some of what happened. And you said he didn't like to do it around you, so that tells me you probably only saw a small percentage of what was actually going on because he was caring for her a lot by himself. Um, ever complained to you about what he was doing? And she was just quiet about it and kept it to herself? Why do you think that is? She was scared too. Scared of him? Okay. And I can tell you, Detective Russell and I, after seeing what we've seen today, um, a lot of it's disturbing, to say the least. Um, but of course, we also understand your perspective. Uh, you're scared for you and your children, and it's sometimes hard to know what to do. And I think we got a lot better version of what happened today. A lot of what you say today lines up a lot more with what we saw. And I think there's a couple of things I want to ask you. It's not because I think you left them out on purpose. It's just you're remembering what you remember, and you may not remember the little details that are important to us. So let's just keep the honest train going and the moral of the story. Whenever you got home from work, she was unconscious on the couch is what I understand. She was still unconscious from before. After you got home, did he hold her nose at any point? Yeah, he was doing it to see if she would wake up. Okay, so tell me about that. Walk me through what was happening whenever he held her nose. He held her nose and pinch it. Mm -hmm. And she'll try to breathe. Mm -hmm. But then I watched her breathe. And she was fighting for her. Okay, so when he held her nose, she would fight for air. Tell me how she would fight for air. <gasps> Did she ever try to push him off of her? Of her? She, like, she wasn't kicking her legs or anything? She would kick her legs, but okay. she, she was doing this. So she was holding like this, like you she, said to you as mom, looks like her being in pain. Yes. She's kicking her legs as he's holding her nose. What do you think at this point? She was fighting. I don't know if she was either fighting to get up. I don't know if she was fighting just to fight. I just know my baby eyes wasn't open. Were you scared for her whenever he was holding her breath from her? He didn't want her around anymore. He wanted her gone. With his words. What? Right? Jante, didn't he say he doesn't want her around anymore? Okay. So me hearing that, just listening to the conversation, it sounds like he wants her out of the picture. She, he wanted her to go to her dad. Right. But that may not have been happening. 
because you're a mom, you're defending her, she can stay in the house. You send, he sends her out of the house. You tell her to come back in. And that's really when he started beating her. It sounds like he beat the crap out of her when she came back in. Hit, punched her multiple times. Jeez. And just to be clear, we're talking about... And this adult man thinks it's okay to punch with a closed fist. Now, I'm assuming from what you're telling me, you don't agree that that's a proper way to discipline a child. Do you think between him punching her, punching a person of that size, how much does she weigh? She don't weigh that much. What does she weigh, 40 pounds? When the last time we weighed each other, she went to Publix. When we weighed her, she was like 160 something. No, 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 no. 160 what? She's lesser than that. She's tiny. How much does she weigh? Yeah. How much is the? She was about 160. Okay. I don't think she's that heavy. But yeah. anyway, we'll move past that. I think we're just getting numbers mixed up here. Um, on the scale thing, on, at Publix it's at 160. Maybe that was kilograms? Yeah, okay. I think so. So, but he being an adult man and punching a girl that size and holding her breath from her and giving her medicine, all punishing her for things that were seemingly innocent childhood normal things. People pee on the bed, people are obstinate. Those aren't things that you get this extreme abuse for. Do you think, and this, you may have to think about this for a question, this may not be a, a question you know off the top of your head, but thinking back, do you think he was trying to kill her? Because to me, if I wanted to, I would punch her in the head multiple times, I would hold her breath from her, and I would leave her lying unconscious, probably dying in front of me for hours on end. <laughs> so think about it for a second and think about his perspective and the fact that he told you he wanted her gone. What do you think his intentions were? She should put her dance on it. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question Detective Russell asked you earlier today. We, were, we didn't know who we were talking about earlier. We asked you what should happen to the person that did this. What do you think should happen to Jonte for what he's done? And before you answer that, I'm going to give you a little piece of information. I'm sorry if I'm jumping the gun here for you. You don't know about most of her injuries. I can promise you that. Mm -hmm. I know about most of her injuries. Based on the people I talked to at the hospital, how many separate injuries do you think she has? In the past, what they can tell in the past the amount of time that the body shows history. I think it. Her head. Yeah, but just give me a number. What do you think? Fractures, bruises, scratches, cuts. What do you think is visible right now to us? Her back. In her arm. How about 50? What? Jonte caused at least 50 different injuries to this child's body. Now, what do you think should happen to Jonte? Okay. So we're on the same page there. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I going to lose my baby? I don't know. That's not my decision. I can't lose my oldest child. What do you think about... I can't lose her either. That's my daughter. But what, did, what did the doctor tell you today? I was going to lose her. She wasn't going to survive. Whose fault is that? Yes. I told you my last part because I've been treats. Who who told what to say? Nobody. Nobody nobody did y'all explain to her what happened and why She was there when they were telling her. Huh? She was in the hospital when they were telling her. 
Right, but the but the shower piece and all that. No, nobody told her to say that. Jonathan didn't tell her. No. Y'all didn't tell her what to say. I haven't talked to my daughter to tell her anything. Because she she told us some of the story about the shower and her falling and facing the water and all that. She was she, he was there. She was around it. When y'all were telling people, when y'all were telling people the hospital or whatever. So she just picked that up from what y'all said. Yeah, I was a little unclear about that when you guys were talking about that again. Did she actually get in the water at some point? Did he put her in the water? And how did she end up face down in the water? He turned her. I'm sorry? He turned her. Did he put her face in the water? She was like this when I went in the bathroom and checked. I don't know what was going on. It doesn't sound like she was under her own control. It sounds like he was moving her around. She wasn't conscious. Like I thought she was in and out. So he put her face down in the water unconscious. Trying to wake her up. He was trying to wake her up. That's what you what thought. Told you. What happens when you put somebody face down in water that's unconscious? They're fighting for the air. Okay, so but if they're unconscious they can't move. What happens to them? They're drowned. They're drowned. So he's trying to kill your daughter. I mean, there's no other explanation about it. Put somebody that's unconscious, can't move, can't fight, in water face down. This is weird. And I know you were scared. I can tell you were scared. But at some point in time, you had a responsibility to step up and keep him from doing that. And not leave and go for work with your daughter laying on the couch. Non-responsive. She was talking. She wasn't talking. To me. She was like, mm, like that. And she was breathing. But she's unconscious. She's not responding. If you called her name, went over there and talked to her, she's not talking back to you. It sounded like she was in extreme medical distress, is what he's saying. You're describing someone that is barely alive. With the right medical treatment, at that point, she could she she could have survived with the right medical treatment, depending on what was going on. But leaving her lay there? She can't. All right, give us a couple more minutes, okay? Thank you for being honest with us. What you're telling us is what, what we know, or we wouldn't have come back in and pointed these things out. So I think you're making a good decision by doing this, okay? By telling us exactly what happened and what went on. And you, you want Jonathan to be held accountable for this. Am I right? Yes. Okay. But you don't, you realize you don't hold, you hold responsibility in this as well. Okay? All right. Do you need anything? Okay, all right, you knock on this door if you do.